This video is not intended for persons under the age of 13. Hey guys, welcome to another one. This is number six of Majora's Mask Randomizer, this time version 1.9.3, the latest build as of the eve of Thanksgiving 2019. The United States holiday, I suppose. I'm Bill, this is Good Old Days Gaming, and let me just check the options real quick. Okay, Z target set to hold. For some reason, it defaults to switch when you have a new ROM on a new computer or a new cartridge in an N64. I don't know why it does that. It's the worst control scheme ever. Dawn of the first day. 72 hours remain. Okay, I, I enabled one starting item this time, which I never did in the five seeds prior to this one. I don't know if it worked, though. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it is that. Yep, the Song of Soaring. I wanted to start the game with that because... The five seeds prior to this has started to get real annoying going to that stone and woodfall. I wish you could set this heart piece to be the Song of Soaring every time, but I don't know how to do that. Deku Mask, okay. So we're pretty vanilla right now. We're just missing a sword, shield, and two heart containers. So next stop is the Stray Fairy, and then we can claim the two rewards from the Great Fairy, which you guys let me know last time. I've been unaware this whole time that you could get both rewards in the same cycle. I thought you had to pick and choose either non-human or human form, and then you would have to wait the next cycle to get it, but that's not true. Gotta find some money, too, because all of West Clocktown is randomized. That's the thing, there's so many locations in Clocktown and Termina Field, just to start. It's kind of impossible not to find something good. I like this little teal seafoam tunic I've got this time, too. Very nice. Can't pop these balloons. Hey Jim, didn't mean to talk to you, but it's good to see you. I guess we'll go Deku first. But yeah, this randomizer's... Wow. This update, let's use a different word. Um, has a lot more added to it this time. A heart container. Oh no, double defense. Well, that's kind of dumb, because I had double damage active this time. And that completely negates it. Oh well. It was a nice gesture. All right, let's see about the human reward then. That is cool if you can get both of them. I mean, I'm not doubting you guys at all, but yeah, you can. Elegy of Emptiness. Okay. That's useful to know for later when I find other transformation masks. And the hookshot. We're well, speaking of that real quick. I don't use an item tracker. I never have. Um, I realize it's kind of more for the audience if you come in two hours later and you don't remember what I have and what I don't have. So I understand it. It's kind of a nice thing. But I don't know. It's just... I like the game screen being up front and prominent. Plus, I don't really know how to use those trackers. I don't know how to set them to automatically update per pickup. If I don't even know if they all can. What? I hit that? Also, is it a piece of heart, or does it just look like it is? Because sometimes you never know. Now it is, okay. Still don't have a way to pop the balloons, so what's next? Uh, East Clocktown 100 Rupee Chest. It's like a go-to location, whether you're playing Vanilla Majora's Mask or a Randomizer. 10 a.m. is quickly approaching. Madame Aroma and the Cafe Mask. Kathy, whatever his name is. But yeah, things that are different this time around. Cow locations are now enabled, and I do have them enabled, so every single cow in this game could have something major. Also, moon items are shuffled into the pool, so that means there could be something major on the moon, I think, if that's how it works. Another heart piece. Okay, we're severely lacking in the money department for West Clocktown. Uh, these things have some money in them. Also, Gorman's on his way to Madame Aroma. We'll probably just fast forward, and, uh, I'm gonna beat you, pal. Sorry for the fast forward. I know it kind of makes the audio be stupid, but I think it's just easier to do this and just get it done and over with, rather than have to nitpick these little three to five second sections later on when I edit stuff out. Slow things down now, because we don't have to really do any more waiting immediately. So, Madame Aroma, what does she have besides a variety of scents on herself? I still want to know what she smells like with a name like that. Although, maybe I don't. Look at her. Mm -hmm. Milk! 
Wait, is that a bottle? No. Okay, that's new. I'm pretty sure in all the builds prior to this one, or at least that I played, I think the last one I played was version 1.8. Anytime you found anything like that, like a red potion or a green potion, it gave you the bottle. And then it just kept replacing whatever your first bottle was. So they must have changed that as well, because there was a note about how the bottle contents bug is finally fixed. And the way that they worded it, they seem frustrated by it, so they're glad that it's finally fixed. Also, I don't know if this guy will let me out. I think he does, but technically I don't have a sword, so I'm going to do this little glitch to get out here. Now it's time to get some money in Termina Field and check the grottos. Speaking of, there's a grotto right here that's... It had the Goron mask that one time. That would be nice to find again. But yeah, we need some money for West Clocktown, because that's 8, 9, 10, 11 locations, plus the Sword Squeal. 12! There's 12 potential items in Clocktown right now, in West Clocktown alone. Grab some nuts and sticks, because you guys did also let me know that you could use a Deku Stick to activate the Owls. Somehow I never knew that. And since we don't have a sword, I might need to do that. Whoa, I need some health too. Okay, that's convenient. Thank you, Fairy. A little late for trimming the verge, as Gandalf says to Samwise, uh, what's his name? Gamgee! Gamgee! Okay, never mind about the sword. Really? <laughs> Are we doing this again? Another seed that starts off a little too lucky. I don't know. Actually, if I find something that's really good again, like Fierce Deity Mask or the bow, I might just delete this seed and generate a new one, because I kind of want more of a challenge. But we shall see. That was kind of weird. That sideways back foot. Yeah, I think this green suits Link better than his default green. I don't know why, I think. There's a lot of fairies coming out of the grass. It must be because I have one heart. This is something major, too. That kind of worries me. How major is it, though? Oh, it's just the ocean tidal deed. Okay, we could roll with that. That's for the Akana scrub, which requires the Zora mask. And in order to even get up there, I need the hookshot, Epona. And if not Epona, then Goron Mask and Bomb, neither of which I have. And you also need Garrow's Mask or Gibdo Mask. I have none of that. So let's just go to the laundry pool, get another five rupees, top off at 60, and go shopping. There you go. That is our road. I suggest you rest and recover your strength, Master Dwarf. Recover my strength! Sorry, I've been watching a lot of Lord of the Rings. It's that time of the year, man. Thanksgiving's coming up, and then December hits, and that's the year of Lord or the month of Lord of the Rings. All the movies came out in December. Those were some good times. I wish I could go back and watch those in theaters again. With all my middle school, high school friends. It was like an event. Alright. So yeah, like again, like I said, again and other such related words. There's 12 potential locations here that could have something. This place always has something amazing. It has a song, and the captain's hat, and a wallet! Hey. Hey, what's the wallet cost? Oh man, that's a steal! Okay, this is getting a little ridiculous to start again. Alright, that's not a bottle. It would say bottle of milk if it was. Captain's hat I can afford, but what's the song? Epona's song? Of the two, the song opens up more locations. So that's what we're rolling with, and then we could go get some more rupees in the field and come get the hat. Yeah, we've got another crazy seed starting off again. So Great Bay. Um, racing the Gorman Brothers. That's what that unlocked immediately. What does this place have? This The Zora Mask tends to be in here a lot. No, Camaro's Mask though. I don't care about the piece of crap. 40 rupees. Eh, crud. Why can't that 20 rupees be free? No such thing as free money. Unless, of course, you imagine it, and then you live by that imaginary currency, then it's free. I do have money for this, though. Make sure I pick the expert option, though. I get A button happy here, and then do the stupid basic course. Okay. 
But yeah, I'm happier if you watched seed number five, the angry seed, I was a little bit grumpy and fed up of constantly doing randomizers and people always requesting when am I going to do another randomizer instead of other let's plays that I'm doing at the moment or whatever. I don't know, it was just getting frustrating. But this is my second favorite game of all time and I'm definitely happier at the moment to be playing it again. And I feel like the theme of Majora's Mask is very fitting for what's going on in the realm of YouTube right now. The whole concept of Doomsday with this Kappa crap looming. I still don't know what's going to happen to my channel because a lot of my stuff... Hey! Well, that's super convenient. Also, isn't there five rupees in that gong? I know you can get five rupees out of that thing. I just don't know how to spawn them anymore. But that was a super convenient thing. Now I can pick up the rest of this without having to go to the field again. So we'll get Camaro's mask, ignore the heart piece because that was expensive. And then go get the captain's hat, which is super useful for whenever I can get over there. Well, I can now. I have Epona's song. I could go to the graveyard anytime I want. And that's for dancing later. Okay, so... Even though Great Bay is an option, we should hold off. Southern Swamp is still probably the way to go. There's still some early game stuff to check. Captain's Hat. I love this one. This is one of my favorite generic masks in the game for some reason. I like the things that it opens up for you. Don't really care about the heart pieces too much. So yeah, we need a little bit more money, I suppose, even though we just cleared out West Clock Town. Um, there's the treasure chest game. I did not enable Honey and Darling because I don't like it. Let's hit this owl statue before I forget, since that's the whole point of starting with the Song of Soaring anyway. And then we could check in and Milk Road. I have a sword, buddy. Pretty sure he lets you through. Yeah, he lets you through even if you don't have a sword. Let's call Epona anyway. So Epona, I could go to Great Bay, but there's also Milk Road and Southern Swamp, which are probably worth checking first. What's up, Epona? I'll be grab some rupees on the way. There's a cow. There's two cows right under this log. I don't have a way of opening the secret grotto, though. I don't have bombs yet. Because, yeah, the cows definitely have something. You can also enable every single stray fairy. Which I... Okay, a note about the stray fairies. I did generate a file that had every single stray fairy randomized. And it very quickly got real annoying. So this one does not have that feature enabled. But it is there. That's another one of the major updates this thing has. That's joke. Grab some sticks, you never know when you need them. Even though I have a sword now. I still can't pop any balloons though, so tingle right here. I can't get the heart piece in the tree either. So let's go hit the owl statue and then get the red potion. That's a thing too. The red potion that you get for free, plus the three things that she sells in her shop. That's four more items, plus this Deku scrub up here. All the Deku scrubs this time around, whatever they sell is random, and the reward that they trade you, which is normally one of the land title deeds, or the whatever title deed, that's random too. So each Deku scrub has two potential rewards. So yeah, in that sense, I feel like the odds of finding good stuff is in our favor. I think. I would assume. Alright, what do you sell? Normally magic beans. A red rupee for 10 rupees. That's a profit. I will partake in this thing. I don't, I think it's a one time purchase though. I don't think I could keep on getting 20 rupees. That would take a long time to fill the wallet, even if you can. I have the ocean title deed. That's just about as useful as toilet paper at the moment since I can't use it for anything else. Let's make sure to grab some rupees. So we have hopefully enough for whatever is in the shop up there. But we should probably go in the woods and 
trigger the red potion thing too. I might cut that out because the song that plays in the Lost Woods sometimes gets copyrighted and that's annoying. But yeah, left, right, straight, left, left. That's the path on day one. Okay, we have talked to her, so now we should get a free red potion or whatever it may be. Let's get some more rupees. Uh, let's get 60 at least, get an even number. Well, I mean, 58 is an even number, but you know what I mean, an even zero or five. Wouldn't it be weird if our society operated in a way that was like 61 was considered a convenient number? Like all derivatives of one or three instead of five and zero being the, the even rounded out things that we all operate by. 200 rupees and the Zora mask. Wait, how much is that 200 rupee though? What do you have for me? Okay, a heart container. That's nice. 200 rupees. Please be cheap. Oh, yeah, just enough. Good thing I rounded out. And that's only 10? Yes. Okay, we've got options now. With Zora Mask, Great Bay, we have access because of Epona's song. Don't have magic yet, though. That blue rupee doesn't matter. Okay, so we have options. Great Bay, although there's still more to do here. Also, the room key. It's about that time. Um, hang on. Okay, we got to dance for the ladies. Let's keep that in mind. Wait, also, the captain's hat. Does that qualify as one of the creepy masks that gains access to Ikana Canyon? I want to say no. I think it's only Garo and Gibdo that generate the stump that you hook shot. But I am curious. I can access the graveyard. So... All of the graves I can do. They'll be very tough though, the iron knuckles with the my heart situation. Also, I don't have the lens of truth for the day two grave. But day one is definitely doable. But okay, a note about the room key. Every single randomizer I've played of this game, the room key, letter to cafe, letter to mama, slash priority mail, same thing. Um, and the Pendant of Memories. All of those Bomber's Notebook specific Anju Cafe side quest items, I never randomize for convenience. Like, this is guaranteed to be the room key. This is the only one that I could maybe randomize in the future that is convenient and not really a big deal. But see, now while we wait on the postman, we can check this room. A little exorcist head movement from Link. Did you see that? It's nothing major. 50 rupees. It's normally 100, right? Still nice. It has a nice shine to it. If you lick it, it'll taste like a grape lollipop. That's what I think, anyway. Don't have cafe's mask, so I can't trigger the rest of this. Alright, we gotta slow time down. Grape lollipops. There's so many other better flavors. I remember seeing something that grape was universally one of kids' voted favorite flavors. Like, that's a bunch of crap. Everybody likes strawberry and watermelon. Not grape. Like ice pops, grape is the worst flavor. You get the blue and the pink ones, which are like a watermelon and then some weird blue raspberry. And it's a very nice blue raspberry. And it turns your mouth blue. Okay, let's activate the bank because 200 rupees is a reward. Quit your pounding on the table. Can't wait for Thanksgiving, man. Whoa, sensitive stick much? Much too much. What do you got for me? Give me something good. A mask. I'll stamp my forehead. Ah, crud. What good are you? All you do is deal with money. Where's the gifts? Where's the heartfelt, thought out gift? I don't know. Sometimes that's hard. Um, so Great Bay, we have Zora's mask. Milk Road though, too. 
Zora's mask also lets me pop balloons. Well, I'm already going this way. Um, my brain is doing seven things at once. Stop it, brain. Let's get some money, first of all. You never know when you need it. I can check the chest down here in the pool. That is what I absolutely want to do first. Then Milk Road, Tingle, Racing the Gorman Brothers, and the P-Hack Grotto. I still never checked that, because in my mind, I've already done the preliminary Clock Town Terminal Field stuff, but that is not true. I have not had access to everything yet. I haven't even done the telescope. Eh, hey, crud, what are we doing? We're messing up. Oh, it doesn't have yellow trim. Nothing major, then. It could still be good, though. Isn't that what it is normally? Maybe not. Maybe it could be 20 rupees from somewhere else. Because, yeah, the majority of it, I feel like I randomized this time. Um, I talked about the moon items, right? Everything on the moon is somewhere down here, potentially. It could still be on the moon, I suppose. I don't know how they worked the logic out there. This is casual logic, so no glitches are going to be required. I, I am very curious about the stump and Ikana, though, too. Ah, oh, stupid the B-Hack Grotto! I should have stopped there first. What am I doing? Hit the statue. And then we'll check Tingle. I gotta go back to Clock Town, too. We gotta play... We gotta do the, all of it. The, the hide-and-seek, the telescope. I don't have bombs, though. I can't check the 100 rupees in the bomber's hideout. I also don't have enough rupees at the current moment to buy both of whatever Tingle has here. Unless he sells rupees. Yeah, quit your dancing. Okay. Stone Mask is good. Pirate's Fortress. Is fully doable, almost. I'm glad that was the cheap option, too. Yeah, sparkles and all that happiness. Get out of here. Get on your balloon. And go draw some maps or whatever you do. Uh, the P-Hack Grotto. Gotta go check that. Before I forget, because I know I'm gonna forget if I don't do it right now. Ah, crud! I should have raced the dudes! I got eight things going on at once. Oh, well, we'll go back and race the Gormans after this. Don't be chomping my horse. Oh. Okay. Now, where is the hole? A question we must all ask ourselves. Okay, there it is. Stupid butterflies. They don't even know where the hole is. This should be a, no problem with the Gilded Sword, which I still can't believe I have. Why do I have that? Personally, I like the seeds that you find the Razor Sword, and that's your primary sword for the whole adventure. Because you never get to use that. Like in Vanilla Majora, if you use it at all. Like you just have it for a moment, and then you trade it in. Even though I think it looks cooler than the Gilded Sword sometimes. That was useless. No, you're useless. Okay, so Ikana... No, race the Gorman brothers. And then we gotta do all the telescope business too. Get out of here with your chomping. So this copper crap, let's talk about it briefly. I don't know what's gonna happen with my channel, but like a game like this, this Zelda game is rated kids to adults, right? It still had the K to A rating, or was it E for everyone at this point? I can't remember when that change happened. At the ESRB. ESRB. Everything's sad. In this stupid ranch. Whatever, this is a prize. But yeah, a lot of my channel is going to be affected by this, and probably by December 10th, and definitely by January 1st, I'm going to privatize a lot of my videos that I think might... Whoa, I pressed B and A at the same time. That was kind of stupid. Oh, jeez, why am I doing bad? Uh-oh, let's not fail this now. But yeah, I think the only games that might last... Unless a solution comes up or the law changes, I feel like a lot of the games I've covered, a lot of my Let's Plays are going to be affected, and I don't know what to do, honestly. I don't want to delete all of them, even though I have been going back, and I've realized a lot of the videos I've made over the years all suck. I don't even know what I've made that's good. This even sucks. <laughs> I don't know. 
Somehow I won. I was genuinely concerned for a moment there that I was going to fail this. That would have been stupid. But not a surprise. Yeah, yeah, give me something good. That's pretty good. An empty bottle. Our first one of eight in this game, right? Is it eight or six? It's more than Ocarina. I know that much. Is it Ocarina or Ocarina? Because I hear both. Okay. Ikana Canyon. I'm just curious. It is also close to night of the first day. And then I gotta go pop the telescope balloon. The kid's balloon, rather. Is there anything on the way to Ikana Canyon that I can do? I know there's some grottos. I don't have bombs, though. I don't have the hook shot. But there's a treasure chest right here on the left. I don't know if you can climb this thing, though. I don't know if it's hook shot only. Oh, sorry, Epona. Ugh. I must test this out. Because what if the hook shot is up here and you don't need the hook shot at all? It might be one of those weird pillars that has just one side that's climbable. Or not. Okay. Get on Epona before I die, because I still have, like, no hearts here. But you're winning. But yeah, a lot of these randomizers that I've done might be set to private soon. I don't know. Because Twilight Princess, I think, is the first Zelda game to be rated T for teen, right? And that's, like, the best argument you have for a game being not intended for kids. An interesting mask. Yeah, yeah, I know what it's for. Oh, yeah. You cannot save them with that mask. Have you no other? It's unfortunate. Yeah, I kind of figured. Don't have the lens of truth. Don't have a red potion. Okay. I almost just went to Great Bay, but then I thought, hold on. Wasn't I just talking about the balloons? So let's do this stuff. Also, while it's still daytime, I gotta pop Tingle's balloon immediately. So let's trigger this. Because Tingle's not available at nighttime in Clocktown for whatever reason. I don't know where he sleeps. It's not like Wind Waker where he has that little hangout spot. Well, it's a prison in Wind Waker. See, that's another one. Like, I would do another Wind Waker rando. But Wind Waker is a cartoon. If any Zelda game is a cartoon, it's that one. And I don't know how they judge what's for kids and what's not. It's a dumb thing, I don't know. I get it, but I also don't get... Well, whatever. What do you got? Great Fairy's Mask. That is definitely useful. All the Great Fairy's rewards are shuffled in. So, like, a random treasure chest could have the spin attack, for example. For a leader, you're the easiest one to catch every time, Jimbo. Still wish you could play as the Bombers, though, and the Skull Kid. Waiting for those cosmetic changes. I wish I knew how to do that stuff, but I'm stupid. Come here, chicken boy. Man, that chicken's going to town, and there's the Goron. Get him boomerangs to the face, son. Make sure you switch back, though, if you try to talk to him as Azor. He's like, hey, you're not the one playing our game. One more to go. It's like in Rogue Squadron when you're... I don't know what mission, but I just remember... I think it's Wedge Antilles, right? He's always like, two more to go. One more to go. Just remember all these weird Rogue Squadron voice clips. All right, the Bomber's Notebook. I did not leave vanilla this time, so this could be something. Hey, you want to be a cool kid? Yeah, we got our standard three hearts finally. What's the code? Two, one, three, four, five. Oh, I didn't get the jingle because I don't actually have the notebook. All right, well, now the telescope. Two, one, three, four, five. I don't- I still don't have a way of checking the 100 rupee chest down here, though. So really, it's just the moon's tier.
But yeah, another thing in regards to this COPPA crap that's going on and all these gaming channels potentially being under threat of being fined $42,000 per video. $42,530. So they claim... Um, I don't know, I just think it's weird timing. Because I recorded that last seed, and it didn't really do so well, and I was grumpy the whole time. And then I did all these other Let's Plays that I was more excited about doing, and they underperformed extremely. Like Ukulele and the Impossible Lair? I don't know. I just noticed my channel's really suffering lately. And these randomizers, when I, like, going back and looking at what videos I can delete in preparation for this Kappa Doomsday that's looming. I could get the Scarecrow song, too. Yeah, well, whatever. Um, yeah, it's just the realization that most of the content I've ever created on this channel sucks has hit me harder than ever. And it's really always only ever been these randomizers that were kind of successful in the big scheme of things. What's up, Jude? Still love this music every time. This and the Milk Bar, I think, are this game's best songs. Well, and the Final Hours theme, that's really good, too. And Clock Town, every variation of Clock Town. Day 2, Clock Town is my favorite. Don't be shaking your butt at me. And then this guy sped up. And his route is changed. He flies right to the hole. Look at that sun in the distance, too. Oh, you ruined it, Wolf Howl. Although my voice is probably ruining the good moment, too. So that guy sells something for 100 rupees, if you choose wisely. It's either 150 or 100. Now, this looked like the moon's tier. Is it actually? No. See, that's what I mean. That's why that heart piece on the tree earlier, I wasn't sure if it actually was. Somebody said there was a Deku flower, but I think it's on the outside. Yeah, it's not in here. Whatever, we got warp stuff. So, let's go back to Clock Town. It's freshly nighttime, so Camaro is not on his stump yet. So, Great Bay, are we headed that way? Might as well. I think we've checked most of the preliminary things at this point. Ooh, I hear those cows, but I still can't get them. Sing a song. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, but it's, it's weird timing. What I was trying to get at is, yeah, all of that happened, and I've just noticed that my channel is really just kind of suffering, and I don't know how much I could do to make it better at this point. So, the combination of that, plus, um, I've put in my notice at work, and I'm in the process of finding a different job, because it's just gotten to be too stressful. And I was just on vacation. I met with somebody from England for a week, and we were hanging out, and it was awesome. And it was the best week I've had in a long time, just being out in the real world, doing social stuff. We saw some shows, had a lot of food out at places, got drinks and stuff. And I don't know, it's just, that stuff is so much more fun than being at home recording video games. So I just can't help that all of this is happening for a reason. This is something major. Why does this grotto always have something? Oh, it's just a shield. I mean, that's still good. I do have the double damage thing, I think. Even though it's kind of hard to tell now, especially with double defense. Okay. Still don't have Song of Healing, though, so I can't heal the dude with the tattoos. Can activate the statue, though. Pirate's Fortress is definitely an option. I don't have magic, so I can't kill the like like in the waterfall. I don't think, unless... Because boomerangs just stun them, right? Awesome underwater sounds. Just played that Abzu or Apsu game. 
That was really cool, too. Another one that underperformed, though. But that's expected. It's kind of like a weird game not too many people have heard about. But yeah, it's kind of a scary time. I don't know, like... In a sense, this COPPA stuff that's going on... It couldn't have come at a worse time for me. If my channel really is... Under potential threat of... Okay, fairies or mushrooms. Just had to check. But yeah, if a lot of my videos are potentially in violation of this cop law, and I'm un unaware of it because... Yeah, I mean, up to this point, I think even in one of these Majora randomizers I did, I was talking about how I try to be family-friendly because I've seen my nephew watch YouTube videos that I think are inappropriate for his age. And... Like, you just never know when kids are going to stumble across stuff. And up until now, YouTube's pushed for that, and now it's like all that stuff is getting punished because it's in violation of a law that's been around since 1998 or 2000. I don't know. Just seems like Google and YouTube have kind of screwed us over, but then at the same time, I don't know if all the blame can be put on them. Because they're trying to say that content creators are just as liable. And honestly, like, I'm no lawyer. I don't know what's arguable in court. I feel like they're the ones making the rules, right? So whatever they say goes. I don't know. It's just... It feels like a lot of stuff has come crashing down all at the same time since November hit. And the only good thing for me that has happened is that vacation I spent. Yeah, I would like to see Joppas listen to some nice bass tunes, but we don't actually have to. We gotta go see Evan and play it for him. See, I don't know, my mind's just kind of been all over the place lately. Like, do I want to continue? Is it worth it? What am I doing job-wise? Oh, whoops. Dude, what? <laughs> Dude, really? The last note, even? There we go. Wow. That is the first time in a while I've butchered that. That's normally my default Scarecrow song when I'm playing Ocarina of Time. Speaking of, I never got the Scarecrow song for this. What do you got there, Evan? I wish they played his cutscene still. Ah, oh, crud! Well, there's no downgrade, so that's okay. So he had the Kakari sword. What a cheapskate. That dude, his personality, he's always ripping you off. Alright, the scrub. We have his title deed. Oh, no, we don't. We have the one that he gives you. The heart piece, too. I don't have Fierce Deity's mask. In the last two seeds prior to this one, I was able to get this heart piece using that mask. What do you sell, though? A silver rupee for 40 rupees. Dang it, I'm five rupees short, of course. You don't have enough rupees. Yeah, well, shut it. I know there's a way to get that heart piece as even just standard Link. You don't need the Deku flower, I know that much. But I forget. Speaking of, though, let's go hit the other owl statue. I think there's rupees out there, right? Oh, I knew that was timed wrong. Oh, well. But this is another one of those minor locations that they added. You know how in here you can light the torches, the stage lights, and the guy gives you some cheap rupees? That's random now, too, and I did enable it. I mean, it doesn't have to be. You could disable it. Because once again, this is a custom item list. Again, specifically for those Anju Kathy things, like the room key, the letter to Mama. There's not rupees out here after all. Unless the shop has like a 200 rupee I can buy for 30 rupees. I think you need to be a Zora to purchase anything. I can't remember. There's a song and a swamp title deed. Uh, the song of healing and I can afford it. Man. Well, that's good. Now we can check the tattooed fish. Mike, as I'm going to call him, because I don't know how to say his real name. 
That swamp title deed is interesting, but... What if I get the tools to access Econa Canyon and then I can't use the ocean one? Sing a song, sing a song. I think we're done here. Let's go heal the dude. Maybe he's got money and then I could come back here. Well, no, I don't need to come back here. The Deku Scrub just sold money. So Pirate's Fortress? Is that where we're at at this point? I still have no way of getting to Snowhead. I don't have bombs, so I can't even do infinite sword glitch and bomb shoe hovers. Which I wouldn't do anyway. Oh, oh my gosh, yeah, push me! You got it. Oh, I can't do it as you. Well, whatever. Well, let's think about this. Southern Swamp. I have Zora's Mask. I can boomerang the big Octos and gain access to Deku Palace. But there's no telling where Magic Beans or Spring Water are. Oh, this is dumb. Fast forward it a little bit. Um... I don't have the Sonata, but I could still make the rounds around Woodfall. Pirate's Fortress, aside from the magic, is doable. I have Stone Mask. Ah, crud. What a bunch of garbage. Yeah, those are really our only options at this point. Mini games. Um... Honey and Darling are disabled because I hate that. Same with Deku Scrub Playground. I just don't like the ones that require all three days to get the major prize. Um, but the treasure chest game as a Goron, that's randomized. Pinnacle Rock. Oh, I think I did include those. There's two treasure chests in there. I know I disabled the seahorse though, because that's just weird. Hang on. Wait a minute. Before going to the uh, the fortress, I have Camaro's mask. Before I forget, it just occurred to me. Uh, where is it? Oh wait, no, it's right back this way. And Camaro himself. Oh no, it's still too early for him. He's at midnight, right? Or is it one? My boots, my boots, do you see how they're loose, they're loose. This is not a Tom Waits song, though it sounds as if it could be. A very bad version about Link's muddy, stupid boots. Thank you, ladies. That song was called My Boots, and I know you loved it, so give me a reward. A bit, a bit. Hey! Five bomb shoes, but you only have five. Use them wisely. Chaka ba cha. Wait, that's a good question. Where the heck are what's five low what? There's no choose! No choose! I do not have a bomb bag. No bomb bag! But we have a silly mask for going to the Pirate's Fortress. Yes, we're about to go swim deep in the big fortress. Sing a song, take me there, take me anywhere but here, because I don't want to sing any more dumb songs. To the Great Bay we go. What the heck has come over me all of a sudden? Yeah, well, nobody knows. I'm about as far gone as that feather ball thing. About to take a dip in the ocean, are we? Let me know how the water is. Oh yeah. Feels good. I wish I was underwater right now and could breathe. But apparently that's not part of the human anatomy. I'd be cold though. I don't know about after Thanksgiving dinner though. Nice warm turkey, potatoes, gravy, stuffing, and my... ...roll in the matter. I don't know, in my family I've become known for this corn souffle stuff that I make. It's not even hard. You just take two cans of corn, creamed corn, and then 
whole kernel corn that you drain. You combine them with Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix, a whole stick of butter that you melt, and eight ounces of sour cream. And then you mix it with love and sing a song. And voila, you cultivate happiness, top it with cheese, and the family goes in an uproar in the most delightful of ways. Now, back to the matters at hand, this chest. There's three chests out here. My voice is cracked. Nice, I guess. But up until now, I've excluded these chests because I didn't know where they were. Come to find out, they're just in this room, so why not include them? Ooh, this one's something major. What could you be? Tell me, tell me. Oh yeah! Goron Mask, son! Oh, dude, I needed that too! I didn't even think about that! The switch that you gotta pound up here to open the gate to even get in the fortress any further. Did not think about that. That's a lucky find, dude. This whole time I was like, oh yeah, Pirate's Fortress, we could do that. No, you couldn't, but now I can. Wait, where's this other chest? How about look at the map, you son of a chrome. Oh, is it under? That's so cool. How did I not know about this treasure chest all these years? Wait, no, get back in there. This is such a cool spot. I want to make this my home. If I could breathe underwater, man, that's all I want. Ah, Don Jero's mask, or is it Garrow? Whatever it is, it's a stupid frog that I disabled because they're a bunch of crumb. Going to Woodfall Temple and Great Bay Temple and then to Timbuktu and back just to sing a song with some stupid frogs? I don't think so. Always saving your hide, Slip. What? You can't overwrite the ocarina just because it's underwater? That is a rule that I don't remember being a thing, but I guess whatever. These ladies in the boats... There's been times that I try to walk up this ramp, and they seem far away, and then they blow their whistle at me. So sometimes I just like to wait, ponder, about underwater life, and how much pollution you would swallow and die within two years. Maybe not. What if you had pollution filter? Somebody down there in the ocean probably sells that. There's probably a fish salesman. It's like, are your gills getting full of crap? Try Gill Free by Gilbert Godfrey. It sounds annoying, but it keeps your... I don't even know what I'm saying. Stupid. I always like this jump. The camera can't catch up, but I'm moving already, baby. Can't slow me down. I don't have magic. Time to be a sidewinder. Reminds me of Parallel Universe, right? That's the song it's from. Red Hot Chili Peppers. To say something about being a sidewinder. I'm a California king! <laughs> Not like that. That was like Killer Instinct King combo. That was an 11 hit combo, right? 12 was the beginning of Killer. 10 was Monster. 9 was Blaster. 8 was Awesome. 7 was... Oh, what was 7? I don't even remember 6 either. You had Triple Combo. I don't even remember 4 or 5. Time to play Killer Instinct. Wait, hang on, I'm getting ahead of myself. There's a treasure chest. Around these hills. I like this place. It's major. It's going to be... I don't know. I got nothing. What's it gonna be? The All Night Mask. I was not expecting that. Grandma's Stories. The two-hour one is doable. Heck, we could maybe even do the final. There's no saying. I tend to like to play these things and try to beat it in one cycle. Because that's how I play vanilla the Majora's Mask anymore. But... Or no, that's not how I play vanilla. I try to do it in... Yeah! I got the jump finally. Oh, it feels good to get that. Like a dolphin. This place... Another major item. This place, I was just about to say, it's been good so far. It just keeps getting better. Ooh. Did that replace... Dang it! It used to replace the bottles, but they changed it. That's actually good, though, because I guess it was more problematic to constantly overwrite your first bottle. But in that instance, I want it. I gotta sell this mushroom to the witch. I don't know if that could be random. It might be. I don't know what they did in that instance. Get down there. Oh. Spin attack. 
Okay, that's a weird spot for that. I was like, we already found the Kakuri sword. How is there two? Kakuri, sounds good. What's it made with? Sorry, it's stupid again. This is major too, you see the gold trim? Look at it. Oh. The Mask of Truth, that opens the doggy racetrack, which for the first time in my randomizer history with this game, I've enabled because they have a convenience feature now where the gold dog always wins, like Smeagol. At least in the video game, when you're fighting him in the crack of doom, he's like, we always wins. It was a terrible Smeagol. Drown ourselves in acid and never wake up. Leave now and never come back. As Smeagol says to go. At least I'm swimming well. And bonking my head on ladders. I don't have a bow. Ooh, that could be a problem. How do we knock down the beehive without a bow? Can the boomerangs go through the wall? There's probably a trick. We must figure something out. All right, let's not mess this up either. I tend to mess this up like an idiot every single time. Face the right way. It already is facing the correct way. You move quickly, you boomerang, you jump, you succeed. Yeah! Moving in the cutscene. There we go, I didn't mess it up. Celebrate. Perhaps with Thanksgiving dinner. I can't wait, man, I need some food. Like that mammoth in Star Fox Adventures. I need some food. All right, stone mask. I don't have the hook shot. Sorry, lady. You were in my way. Whoa. What can I do without the hook shot? There's that treasure chest right there. If I drop down right where that pillar is, I can get that one at least. The ones in the tanks I cannot get out of my way. The hook shot you can't get until you knock down the beehive. I'm almost certain of that. Unless they changed something. What did they change? I know they disabled the cutscene, which is nice. I don't have the bow. I don't have the hook shot. Does this work? That didn't work at all. I don't think I have anything that I could possibly shoot through there. Deku bubble, maybe, but I don't have magic. Singing a song. I have to try it. Really? I thought it was instant detection. Ah, oh, it is. Okay, it must have been the mask still applies to that first guard. Huh. Well, okay, we did say that one chest. If I go around and beat all the guards... It's almost time for Camaro. And the hand in the toilet. Imagine in real life if you had to set a schedule for a hand in a toilet. <laughs> How do they come up with this crap? I don't know. That's a bunch of crap. I don't think I can reach any of this stuff. Uh. I have one other thing in my mind. Not sure if it'll work, but there's this one ledge over here. I know with Fierce Deity's Mask it's really easy, but you might be able to cheese this and jump on the ledge. I forget how to do it normal, though. Oh, no, it pushed me too far out. All right, well, I think we've exhausted what we can do. Where's the hook shot is my next question. Gotta get rid of this mushroom before it causes any more trouble, like Joanna says in... Area 51 Escape of Perfect Dark. I think this game and Perfect Dark are my two favorite Nintendo 64 games. I mean, I like Paper Mario and Ocarina of Time and Banjo-Tooie. But something about this and Perfect Dark, I replayed the most out of any N64 game, I'm pretty sure. 
to Camaro we go. And then from there, well, he's right outside of the Dodongo, um, grotto. And, oh yeah, we don't need bombs, but th those grottos are disabled. The, uh, the ones where you play the song for the stones. Good thing I have the song of healing. Kind of take it for granted and just always assume that you have it, even if you don't. This guy used to give me the fire arrows all the time. Nope. Back in the early days when this randomizer was brand new. The death basket one. Okay. So we got some money down here. Guaranteed 100 rupees. Plus whatever the treasure is. They could maybe deal some damage though. But I have the gilded sword and I have a shield so... Just do that. So we're good. Ooh, that was actually close though. Don't go in the little skylight, whatever we do. Oof. Yeah, that was a whole heart of damage. Imagine if I didn't have the double defense. I don't know, do dump, jump slashes, dump slashes? Yeah, they do do more damage on these guys. I don't know, cause some enemies, some bosses I know, I don't know about this game, but in prior Zelda games, there are a number of hits. This is important. Look at the yellow trim. It's like a lady in a pretty dress. No, I don't know what it is. It's a pig! What the heck is that doing in there? You know, Madame Aroma should have that mask, since she's all about smelling crap. Smelling like crap, too. She just strikes me as one of those ladies you would see with one of those super giant perfume bottles that's just constantly spraying it to the point that it's ex what is the word? Asphyxiating? I don't think that's how you properly pronounce it. It's weird rolling without magic. But we can go down here. The boomerang should be able to knock it down, right? Even though I have no other projectile at the moment. Hugging yourself there, Zora Link. That's what it looks like. Yeah! That right hand boomerang with a double hook. Alright, piece of heart, what are you? Looks like a piece of heart. Don't believe it, though. Unless it is. It's the bomber's notebook! Well, okay, that's kind of pointless in these randomizers. But, a very welcome addition to the inventory indeed. Now, Southern Swamp. We can gain access to the Deku Palace. I have money, wait. I have money for the dude. Wow. <laughs> It's so weird without the sound even changing. Yeah. This guy had the new wave bossing over that. I think it was the last scene. Maybe it was the one before that. This could be a game changer. What do you have? I'll sell you five bomb chew. That's not even worth it. I can't carry them. So I should just say no to this one too. Yeah. Jeez, I never heard that noise before. That's just like, you screwed up this entire cycle, you suck! That's what that noise said. And I was like, thank you, noise. I needed the pessimism. Alright, Southern Swamp is more than good. It's great! I said that last time, and it wasn't funny then either. I don't know, my brain is stupid. Sometimes I say things with a certain cadence, and it instantly reminds me of something else. Like Frosted Flakes, that's what it is. Frosted Flakes are more than good, they're great. That's how Tony the Tiger would say it if he didn't give a shit. <laughs> I don't know, man. There you go, not for kids. Gotta do something, I don't know what the heck they're looking at. But yeah, take any word that has the same number of syllables as Frosted Flakes and just say that, and that's what, what my brain does. It's like, oh, we have to say they're great now. No, you don't. My brain thinks so. B, 
because it's, uh, how do you say, a doll? Yes. That is how you say it. Or you could add some emphasis and say, your doll. However you want to do it. Make sure you do it with the utmost relish and fervor. Um, let us get rid of this mushroom before it causes any more trouble. <laughs> I just like saying that. Um, it's very British. More. Magic Hag's Potion Shop. Sounds like somewhere I'd like to be. What? Oh. That's weird. I was not expecting her to give that to me again. Have a mushroom and tell me what the prize may be. You must sell it to me? Wait, what? Oh. Did they change it because now the blue potion doesn't apply since it's all, everything is randomized individually? So now they just make it so they're for sale? Interesting, I did not know that, now I do. How I'm gonna use this information, nobody knows. Cause we're all dead. Give it a month and we're done. No, I don't know. Hey, let's hop along. Well, hang on, first of all. What do we have? The doggy racetrack. I can't get to the ranch, though. Um. Hand in the toilet, there's a gathering that no longer seems so far away. AFI, man. The Prayer Position, I believe, is the name of that song. And it doesn't even say anything about a hand. It says, and in the distance, there's a gathering. But I used to always think it said hand. That's why every time I say hand in the toilet, that comes to mind, just like the stupid Frosted Flakes thing. Because you say the word hand, you have to sing that song. Come on, brain. What's up, dude? I can't get to Icona Canyon, so here, enjoy wiping with this. It doesn't look double ply. In fact, it looks very cardboard-like. Parchment. Can't feel good. Ah! But it gives you life. There you go. Got lots of hearts going on now. So. Let's go to the graveyard. Before it's too late. I don't have Fierce Deity's Mask. So, I can't do what I did last time where I waited on the graveyard until day two and Fierce Deity has the jumping power of an astronaut. So he can jump from the day two side back to the day one side and take both grave positions, locations, in one fell swoop. But at the moment I cannot do such things. And this poses a problem in which we have to act now. Still don't have the bow. Look at that zero taunting me, so... I see you, bow. Oh, wait, there's three locations. Find a quiver and you got the bow. Also, there's still that grotto here. I believe I have Goron powers. I could probably just punch it open. Because isn't it under the red rock? Or is it in a bombable spot? I can't remember. But time to put the captain's hat to use. Iron Knuckle, too. I'm well prepared for it. Although I don't have bombs or arrows, so it's all swordplay. It's been a while since I haven't resorted to Link's other arsenal choices. Talking a lot about the game this time and being goofy instead of talking about other stuff. Oh, the bats! Um... Hmm, this could be a problem. Although, wait, Deku Link? Zora Link is a travesty. He can't fight worth a crap, even though it looks cool. But you could spin like mad. Yeah, that should work. It's not gonna stun the bats, it's gonna slice them. By the power of wood. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. Why don't I do this all the time? This is better than any other form of attack. The Dance of Death is what it is. 
Isn't there a specific ballet name for this little spin that Deku Link does? It's very dainty for a wooden character. Still very mad that Smash Brothers never thought to incorporate Young Link's masks as a separate character. Could have been cool. It's no different than Pokemon Trainer or anything. But why does everything have to go back to Smash Bros, I ask? Does anybody actually care that much? Well, actually, yeah. Again? Wait, is that actual bomb shoes? Nope. Okay, we gotta light the torches. Stupid torch. Time splitters, too. I don't know, I'm told that happiness is more attractive than misery. Even though misery loves company. Ponder that for a moment while I best this dude. Uh, do we have anything? Did Deku Nuts do anything to him? Grab a stick, you never know. Nah, Link is our best choice. Although, Stone Mask. Does that apply? I don't think that applies. But... Can't see me. I got a rock on my face. Break up. Oh yeah. This is gonna hurt though if I do get hit. I think I can survive one blow, but I'm not sure. Oh wow, that was a lot. Gilded sword, that's why. Jeez, that was close, man. Did you see that? That was that clenching moment right there. Man, this guy swings way faster than I remember. All right, he's down though. Faster than the Ocarina of Time ones. That's the thing, cause that's the last game I played. They beefed him up in Majora's Mask. Just another reason why it's better in some respects. Fire arrows! I don't have a bow though. Didn't I find them here in the last seat, or was that? The I know they. I got them in this very same spot previously, on X Men. Jubilee was wearing a raincoat and doing jack shit. Good job, Jubilee. <laughs> Again, my brain. It's the Frosted Flakes conundrum. I said previously. So I have to follow that with on X-Men because that's the last time. Remember the X-Men cartoon? No, 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 no. Jubilee. She even, even in the intro, she gets kidnapped by the Sentinels or whatever. But that raincoat, though, and those sparkles. Uh, all right. Let us focus on Deku Palace now. I was heading there, and then I got distracted because I didn't fully do the Camaro stuff, or whatever it was that distracted me. I can't remember. What is Jubilee's power as an X-Men? I remember a VHS tape I had was, was Spider-Man and the X-Men and the Juggernaut was the big enemy that they all had to work together to defeat. And it was also, there was two episodes on it at least. And one was the birth of Firestorm. And it was just this little girl with her dad, or I guess she was a teenager. And she had the power of heating things up with her hand. And I remember she heated up a coffee cup and it exploded. And her dad was mad about it. And then something happened and her and Spider-Man joined forces. I don't know. It's one of those VHS tapes I watched a lot as a kid, though. Yeah. It has that moment. I, just, I still remember that Wolverine quote where he's like, Now it's my toy. He says it all weird, and then he instantly gets knocked over by the Juggernaut. He does completely nothing compared to the other people. I think it was Spider-Man who actually won the day. Why are we talking about this? I don't know. Also, drums. Everybody likes these drums. Um... So, the things that we can obtain here, a heart piece, could be something. Do we go there first? There's also a trick you could do here with Zora, Link, and if you have Fierce Deity Mask, you could climb the various fences and things here 
and hopefully with the appropriately timed jumps and grabs, you can go from this lower floor to the portion of this arena that has the moving platforms and kind of cheese your way to where the monkey is. It's kind of difficult though. At least I'm not great at it, but I remember experimenting with it for several minutes. At least like 20 minutes. Oh, wait a minute now. It's close. Don't botch it up. Ah! Well, hang on. While we're here, let's grab some more money, and then you could throw me outside. Like the dude from the Fresh Prince. Alright, so the Magic Bean Salesman, his thing is gonna be different. And then I must ask, does he still sell Magic Beans, though, after that initial trade? Or gift, rather. And then there's the spring water conundrum. I can't even get to the monkey. Because spring water might not be spring water. If it's hot spring water, though, we could wait for it to cool. That would be interesting. I hope that is... No, it can't be, because I left that vanilla for convenience. That's another thing I always do. Those hot spring water, Zora eggs, and the Deku princess I always leave alone. Maybe I should stop doing that. All right, magic beans or a heart container. But do you sell magic beans? Yes, you do. Did it give it to me, though? It did. So it is not like the bomb shoes. Let's get another one, just in case. Because we could plant one here, and if we could get spring water, we could get the chest that's up here, too, which hopefully that's not something important. Unless, of course, this is spring water. It's possible. Magic beans look like they would be nice to chomp on. Like, I like sugar snap peas, and that's what they remind me of. It's a fish. The fish is in water. I must test it. I know this isn't gonna work, but shut up! Come on, fish! You can do it! Okay, well now, the next question is, is this something important? I can't see it. Hang on. It does not appear to have yellow trim. Okay. So that's comforting in a sense. But now what can we do? Oh, we could go around Woodfall. We can still access that. We can see what the Song of Soaring is, since it's not the Song of Soaring. This we know from how it all started. What was I saying about, uh... I was trying to deviate from talking about the game. Let's go quick, switch to Zora, boomerang their faces, and carry on. That's my strategy. What's in that grotto? Is there a cow down there? I do have Epona's song. Oh, jeez, don't electrocute me. Is that instant death as Zora Link? I know fire is. Oh. Okay, good. I'm still on the mushroom. Where's magic? That's my other thing. I don't have a bubble. That's how I normally go about taking those guys out. Anyway, something else to talk about. Um, I made a comment, something about happiness is more attractive than misery. Let's go back to that. I think that's why I'm trying to be happier this time compared to what I was last time. That's what I was primarily getting at when I first said that. One last joyous occasion before the end. I don't know. Milk! But it's not a bottle. But now it's in our bottle. This creates another conundrum. Do we drink the milk to dispose of it, or do we hold on to it? Because what if I find gold dust? Well, gold dust comes in its own bottle. And then once you have that, it becomes just standard gold dust from henceforth. That was the inappropriate use of such a word. That's right. You could have had a bubble, but I don't have magic, so you get a sword to the face. It's laced with gold. It probably tastes metallic and yummy. Like sucking on a penny. Everybody's done that. That's why how you know that blood tastes metallic. You bite your tongue and suddenly taste pennies. We've all done it. Don't act like you haven't. Mr. Perfect Teeth, never chomp your own mouth. 
There's a stupid flaw of the human. I mean, you gotta wonder how horses and cows, especially cows, the way they're always chewing half sideways, they gotta be chomping their own tongue. They got huge tongues, too. Oh, oh. I forgot that was a thing that happens. Dawn of the second day, they're coming for yous. Well, don't act like I didn't see that yellow trim behind me. May you be the hookshot. Or a bow. That would open up some things. Now you're the sad mask that serves no purpose. Well, it does have a purpose, but in the normal game, there's no point. So I guess rejoice in the fact that we may actually use it. Oh! I forgot that's what that did. Eh, <laughs> well, crud. Luckily, I did not fall in the swamp. That could have been deadly. Yeah, I don't know. One of the things I've thought about doing, get out of town, son. Alright. If all this gaming stuff ends up being an impossible feat on YouTube due to this COPPA changes and stuff, I mean, I think five years down the line, YouTube is going to keep on changing stuff, and it's just going to be harder and harder to continue. That is my gut feeling that I'm choosing to ignore at the moment. Another hero shield? How can there be multiple? I guess they added multiple. Well, that's right, because there's some in the shops. Okay. 20 rupees, that's... Why isn't that different? Unless it's 20 rupees from elsewhere. You never know. Okay, we've exhausted everything that we could do in Woodfall. Um... It's a brand new day. Clock Town, treasure chest game. We have the Goron Mask. Um, what else? Day two. Oh, yes, day two, Clock Town. The rain hasn't started yet, though. That's the best part. It's the subtle music change. It's got a little more skip in it. And then that relaxing. Shut up and open the door, please. I would like to play, please. I think I have enough rupees to keep on watching what you're doing on that counter. Mm. <laughs> I don't know, man. Something's wrong with me, but it has yellow trim. It's not a heart piece. Well, it could be. No, it can't be. We've already established that. Heart pieces are not in yellow trimmed chests. Get out of my way! Wait a minute, change of strategies. When all else seems lost, you go way to the outside and it ends up being the correct way. Right? Oh, come on! Wait! Yes, yes! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Heart piece be good to me. Hook shot! Yeah! We're cooking with something now. Hook shots, and that's delicious. <laughs> I don't want to try again, but you look lonely. I'll come back with french fries and we can talk about it. Open the door. Even just the way the song starts, it's just so good. I like it every time. Wait a minute, the town archery? I don't have a bow, but I do have a hook shot. Actually, wait a minute, hang on now. There's a hookshot spot right down here. I almost forgot. So relaxing. Why did it skip though? Uh, where is this thing? It's got yellow trim. I wonder if it's gonna be the powder keg like that other seed. Powder keg is a question, because that's our ticket to the ranch. Too late now. Bomb bag! Dude, we're finding tools! Celebrate, son! Light a bomb and hit it with a hookshot! Fireworks! 
I hope that you enjoy the show, because it's really awesome every single time. You know what this means? I have bombs. I can access the cows. I'm coming for your cows. Get ready to hear song and give me something good. Oh, uh, actually, there's this thing too with the newly found hookshot things are opening and there's the pirate's fortress now we can hook around. This isn't anything major, but it might please us so. Indeed. Okay. The cow. Yes, somehow that worked even though it was a mile away. Aim much? Yeah, apparently not. There's two cows down here! Alright, clear the way for my stage, please. Blah, 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 blah. Boop, boop. Ice arrows, what? Things are happening, son. What do you have for me? I just found a hookshot bomb bag and ice arrows back to back. Wait, no, not that cow. We already saw that cow. I'm trying to play for this one. Uh, or was it this one? Did I, I don't know, actually. Figaro, play a song, sing a song. Yeah. Dude! The cow. You can't tell me there's not two prizes. What if I go way over here in the bushes? Ba -ba 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 -ba. No. The bunny hood! Now we're not only cooking with gas, but we're running with it too. Actually, that could be a problem. Don't walk behind that guy. That was a dumb joke. I hope that you didn't like it either. I don't even know what this game's doing anymore. This is the most excited about a randomizer I've been in a while. What's happened? It's Thanksgiving, son. Be grateful. You just found ice arrows, a bunny hood, and bombs, and a hook shot. Sing a song. Epona. Come to me, my dear. Where are you? We've got work to do. My trusty steed. Don't run into the tree. And, wait a minute, we're going up slope. This is not gonna work. Epona, turn around. To Econa, we go once again. Because, with our newly found hookshot, we can finally check the chest. And we have bombs, there's another grotto right here. I don't remember which pillar it's on, though. Plus, we have bombs so we could maybe check for the grotto that's right here. Oh no, hurry, hit it before he gets me! Mm-hmm, that's right. How's it taste, Bomb Chew? That's vanilla game. Why is that not different? Hmm, I don't like these changes. Hmm. All right, now to find the grotto that I don't remember where it is. Somewhere... beyond the sea. Is it right here? It, I think it was by that red rock, though. And Scarecrow's song. Get away, dude. Well, unless their bombs don't count, I think they just answered for me that it's not right here. I'm pretty sure it's this rock. Man, Epona. Buns of steel. Deflecting bombs. Alright, this is stupid, but I must know. I already know. Let's get the Goron mask and stop being dumb. Yeah. Out of my way. Yep, sure enough, it's right there. What's down here, though? Something major! Oh. <laughs> the eyes on Goron Link. <laughs> oh, man. Some things are just weird. Magic! Twice as much magic! Good thing I checked! I don't know what just happened, but I just found a plethora of things. Now... Oh! Epona... I feel bad leaving you here, but... Rolling just seems faster! I just got magic! Yeah! That's right! 
So now what do we do? We have magic. We have a hook shot. Pirate's Fortress we can clean up. We can kill the like like in the waterfall. We can race the beavers, which are now newly adjusted with this randomizer build. We don't have to race the young one. You just have to race the old one twice. Once for the bottle, once for the heart piece. One for the little boy who lives down the lane. Is it a little boy? It's something. And he shouldn't be watching this video, you dope. Gotta be 13 or older. Eh. Whatever. To the Great Bay. What do you say? Also, Tingle. I missed a Tingle. Southern Swamp Tingle. I don't think I checked him yet. Still no access to the mountains. Does this not reach, really? I don't buy it. Yeah! That was a weird yeah. I apologize for everything that has happened in the last hour. Uh, our container, is this new? Indeed. Magic sparkles, whatever. Okay, let's curb the excitement and get back to reality. Oh, there goes a fish. Um, I don't know. What's something if we could be back to civil? What can we talk about? Like likes in the waterfall. Rocks that we can now bomb. Light arrows were once under this rock. So much has just opened up, it's ridiculous. And it feels good. Oh, things that we talked about. We kind of briefly touched on Thanksgiving meals. That's the only thing I'm making this year is that corn souffle. This is major too. And light arrows, dude. Here we go. Ah, nuts. It's a pick the box. That serves no purpose in the settings I'm using because I disabled the seahorse from having anything. I disabled all of the pictures. I think maybe the heart piece associated with... The King Deku. I can't remember if I left that unchecked or not. But like the Lulu pictographs and Tingle. I don't think they're part of this. Oh, I timed it just wrong. Oh, this isn't gonna work, is it? Yeah, it will. There's treasure chests on the way to the beavers, too. Normally, I'm all like, screw the beavers, I'm not racing them, but due to this uh, quality of life change that they implemented, where you only have to race them once, or twice. I'll do it twice, I don't care. It's better than four times, it's half the pain. Is this really a heart piece? No, it's money. We're rolling in it now, as they say. It's a weird phrase. Has anybody ever actually rolled in money? I mean, I guess the temptation is there. If you had it in piles like leaves, you would probably get an urge to roll in it. And then have to take a shower because it's disgusting. Let's do it. Race the beavers. Kind of relax because I've got nuts. I'm hungry right now, actually. All this Thanksgiving talk. We talked about Kappa in the end of the world. It's not the world. Maybe it's the birth of the world. Would it really be such a bad thing if YouTube was stripped of us? I mean, yeah, for some people that's the problem. Dude! I see your yellow trim. Postman's hat! Postman's hat! That's a mailbox, son. I'm checking it. Maybe the Gibdo mask is in there like the one time. Is there not also another chest? I keep seeing it on the custom item list. 
that there's another chest somewhere on the ledge. I don't know, let's just do the beavers. I like Great Bay. Uh, actually, did I see out of the corner of my eye was the older brother just sitting here? No, I see the young guy, we got a Z target. But, I thought... No, I saw something that looked purple, I don't know, that was weird. Maybe I've gone nuts. Well, we've already proven that. Get down there. Nobody's got time for your little helicopter tail. Although it's nice. I wish I could live underwater with you, buddy. What the heck is on his stomach, though? I've always wanted to know. Rock, rock. Is it an empty bottle for real? Or are you lying to me? 25 rings. Yeah, that's the older brother, isn't it? Yeah, there he is. Oh, that's amazing. I'm glad that they changed that. Sing songs. No, don't sing songs. Stop it. This was always a joyous minigame, though. Terrible on the 3DS, though, making you waste magic the whole time. Although they do add the magic pots the whole way, which adds a little bit more to it, I suppose. And that's cool, I guess. Almost bonked on that one. I always like this part, going through the little knots in the tree stumps. I was talking about my vacation. With the lady from England. <laughs> the lady from England. Yeah, whatever, it wasn't like the queen. That would be weird. I am not fit for any kind of royalty to be near me, that's for sure. I think that's a weird thing, like having special china for the queen. Like the queen doesn't just go to random people's houses for dinner, does she? That would be very anxiety-inducing if that was the case. Dum 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 dum. Ba, 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 ba. I see you, Moon. Oh, the bonk! No. Oh. That's a concussion for you. All right, what is the empty bottle? Rugga rugga walk walk. Rugga rugga walk walk. It's the girl mask. We can access Ikana Canyon, son. Things have just opened up in like the last 20 minutes, if that. Now wait, did I activate the heart piece as well? I'll do it again. I'll probably cut it out though. I don't know. I'm at a loss of what I can talk about at the moment. Chop chop. Wugga wugga. <laughs> These noises are ridiculous. Eh, yeah, crud. Maybe I did forget to enable it. Yeah, well. But we got the Garo mask, dude. So hang on now. What does this mean? We could clean up Pirate's Fortress. Or. We could go to Ikana Canyon and get this done. And we could get it underway. Um. I don't have the Song of Storms. I don't have light arrows. I don't have the mirror shield. I don't have the Gibdo mask. But... But, uh, what is it? What am I thinking here? Seriously, don't you just want to sit here in Clock Town? It's so good every time. Let's get our horse, please. Day two, we are not middle... Andrew Caffey. Uh, hang on. Before Econa Canyon. A heart container. Okay, that's nice. And, do we even dare? Are we killing off the cycle and listening to both grandma stories? Why not? We have it. We're not in the middle of anything important, so no sacrifice here. And actually, that brings me to my point. Hi, Andrew. How are you? Besides dismal, depressed. I mean, she has every right to be. I was very upset after that vacation, actually. I don't like saying goodbye. It was like the best time I had in a very long time, so it was upsetting to say goodbye to it. What's up? Oh, Tardis. I like what you're wearing. Hmm. Carnival of time. Yeah, yeah. On top of the clock tower, there's a dude. 
Do you know the answer to it is? <laughs> On the eve of the festival. <laughs> There's a first red potion. I was wondering where they were. Wait a minute. Andrew's Rebel! The stupid milk! Ah! Oh, now I'm getting punished by this new change. Normally I hated that bottle getting overwritten, and now I'm having the exact opposite effect. Uh, okay, four giants. Yeah, because I could have given it to the witch and gotten her free prize, or we could have gone to the Shiro the Carpenter, although I don't have the Lens of Truth. Oh, ah, ah. Ah! I picked the wrong answer! I got A button happy, dude! Ah, oh, nuts! What if that was the ball? What if that was anything? Powder keg. Well, now we're on the final day. There's nothing for it, Mr. Frodo. We must press on. Um, let's just get down the hill for starters. Equip the ocarina. Sounded like a song. But we've already done plenty of those. Oh yes, the frantic day three song. Good job, Koji Kondo. If it was him, it still was him at this point in time. Let's put our money away. Just in case. We don't need it for anything, right? I forget what they reduced the final bank reward to, but I know it's very minimal compared to the vanilla game, which was, what, like 5,000 rupees or something? 5,000! I don't know why I said it like that. Blue rupees. Seriously, this guy's a chip! Although, maybe it'll come in handy. Alright. Before. Um. We go nuts with the... Words are failing me. The Bomber's Hideout. There you go. I couldn't think of what this place was called. The 100 rupee chest. That'll clear out all of Clocktown as far as I'm aware. Because Honey and Darling is nothing. We did the treasure chest game. Oh, the archery. But I don't have the bow. I don't know if we can play that. I should try it out anyway, though. Well, I just gave my rupees away. She took all my money. And my best friend. You know the story. Here it comes again. Eh, crud, it's nothing special. Well, if it's 100 rupees, I could test out the archery thing that I was just talking about. 20 rupees, that's not enough. Actually, I think it is. Eh, I'm more concerned about getting to Ikana Canyon. We're on the final day here, and if we find anything further... Why did I say it like that? Nobody knows. Oh, that brings me to what I was saying, and then I got distracted by Andrew and a plethora of other things. When I talked about the final day... What? Distractions, man! Okay, I don't even remember what they gave me the first time. <laughs> Look at him plopping his little big shoes. Eh, it's a funny Jimbo. Um... The final day thing, one of the things in following the theme of Doomsday in this COPPA end of YouTube speculation, um, I thought about playing this entire seed as always the night of the final day. Just fast forward to that and try to do as much as possible with the final hours counting down. Just to really play up the idea of it being... A frantic push or the end I don't know it would probably be more doable with the vanilla game the problem with that is this game is so strict on the scheduling that's the fun of it as I always say so day one and day two I have always got stuff going on and if you miss it you lock yourself out of some of the prizes all right. Dompe's grave we can do. I missed day two as a result of the stories, but... There's Dompe's bottle in the graveyard, too. But, all right, yeah, we've got a... We've got a push. 
coming on here. I have the Elegy of Emptiness. I could climb Stone Tower against my better judgment. Or that's not the appropriate phrase. I just don't want to do it. And I don't have the levitate code handy and active to just switch on, so I actually have to do it. Oh, uh, we gotta set up the hookshot thing. I have ice arrows, but nowhere to use them. That's too far, a little bit closer. There we go, that looks good. There we go. Those Octoroks, I was letting them live, and they just kept on pestering me. So I had to hookshot them in the forehead. Okay, so we'll activate this owl statue. That's probably just for later. This is feeling like one of those seeds where we just do a massive dungeon rush at the end. And to speed that along, I could skip on the stray fairies, which I never do. It's like I'm so... What's the word? Conditioned to collect every stray fairy in the dungeon. And, uh... It feels weird to not get them, but it is way faster if you don't. He's tingled. He doesn't sell anything different, does he? I think he has one potential different item I haven't seen yet. Uh, actually, no, I don't think he does. But... I can't remember. So... Please don't let me regret that. Never mind. Crap, now I have no money for the stupid pole heart. That's where I was headed. I don't think I had enough anyway. Isn't it 30 rupees? Crap, where can you get money fast? There's nothing I can do here at all except for climb stone tower and this thing. I want to do this thing so bad, but... Is there any way... Something is different? Nope. Crap! That's tempting. I feel like that might be something. Uh, stone tower. I mean, there's time. There's nothing major going on. I'm just gonna do this and I'll cut it all out because it's a pain in the neck. You're welcome. There we go. The owl is activated for when we get to the dungeon rush moment. So now, I'm thinking Pirate's Fortress. Fortress, it might be time to clean that up. I think. Alright, I'm getting some money here. I did go to Great Bay. I was on my way and then I had to plop out of the thing again because I changed my mind. And... I thought about the doggy racetrack that I haven't done yet. And I want to get all of this stuff done before I go too far out of the way. Because Pirate, Pirate's Fortress could take a while. And we're at midday. So I want to do the doggy racetrack before it's too late. Also, this chest up here. I was like halfway to the Pirate's Fortress and then I was like, wait a minute, Clock Town! This is also something major. Or not? Dude. I'm trying to drop. Okay, there we go. Alright, the doggy race What could that have been? Oh, you know what it was? Probably That was probably where the Song of Soaring was. So it just gave me a recovery heart instead because I already have it. That's my guess. Because I don't know why else would it have shown a major item chest with the yellow trim and everything and then give me junk. Like, what major item could I possibly have already that it wouldn't give me something? That's what it ha it's gotta be that. But this is new. There is no seed of this that I've played where I included the dogs. But this is another convenience thing. I think I talked about it already. Um, the gold dog always wins so long as you have the mask of truth. I think that's the stipulation. I don't remember how this works. It's been years since I've even stepped in here. Ten rupees. Go find a doggy. Yeah, so then you wear the mask and see which one feels like he's gonna win. And then he always lets you down. I remember that much. Plus, this is the gold dog. Today I should do pretty well. 
I mean, I'm gonna trust the randomizer feature. What? How does this work? Lady. What? There we go. What the heck? Yeah, this dog is very fine. Uh, I guess, just in case, we'll do the minimum bet, I guess. To test that this actually does work. But yeah, they say there's a couple options on the randomizer now that are new as of the last couple 1.9 versions. Um, so, as we've already seen the beavers, you only have to race the older brother now. So that would be two times doing that for those two prizes. This dog, the gold dog, always wins if you have the Mask of Truth. That's another option. Dompe has been changed too. His digging game on the in the grave on the third day. The flames are always in the same exact spots for convenience. There's two on the ground and one up the ladder location. And then there was one other convenient thing. But I think it was one that was always there. I can't remember what it was at the moment. Alright, so that seemed to have worked. Why does she only give me 30 rupees? What is the deal with this? I don't remember the dog thing. We just gotta bet higher. I think you have to reach a rupee total. I think that's what it is. So I'll just do it again. Oh, yay! One clear as day! Look at all those doggies. And the sad blue bumper. His gout foot's acting up. Poor doggo. Oh, yeah. 270. That's right. I bet the maximum that time. Yeah, okay, you gotta clear 150. What? Why is it this? I know I selected that as something different. Oh, well, there you go. Enjoy that we did the dogs at all, I guess. Okay, I topped off my wallet with the dog he races, and now we're gonna deposit all this money. Is this time? I didn't see what the total was at. I don't know if this will push me over to the grand prize, but we want to save 30 rupees so I can play, go play that Poe game real quick. We'll do that, and then... I think we'll be good to go back into the Pirate's Fortress and clean that up now that we have the hookshot. That is my plan. Good thing I remembered all this other stuff before I did go in the Pirate's Fortress. Even though we still got time, daylight is not yet evaporated, for lack of a better word. Trying to think what else is potentially open. Everything that I could possibly do in the ranch has been done. Still don't know about the spring water. So, I don't even know what I could do in the woodfall area. Because the pictograph contest and the swamp archery game I disabled from being part of anything. So that's just heart pieces there. Um... Can't even get to the mountain still. So really, it is just what's left in Great Bay. Pirate's Fortress. Oh crap! I don't have the bow! Spin attacks? I remember something about holding B made the camera convenient. Uh, it's been a long time since I fought Meg without either Fierce Deity sword that has enough reach that a spin attack hits her, or a bow. Is this doable? Could be something with the Deku Nuts. Um, hang on, I'm not thinking. Yeah, you definitely can't chase her down. Uh, let's see, what do we have? Hookshot? Aside from that, I don't know, the hookshot might work, though. Which one is it, though? You do get multiple attempts. Oh, lucky guess! Okay, it works, we're good. And we got plenty of time, too. This thing gives you an obscene amount of time. Okay. I don't know how many hits it takes. It might be just equal to the bow, for all I know. Never did this before. With the hookshot. 
lucky guess. I don't know what it is about this chamber, but you can't see the real one spin unless it's right in front of you. All right, lucky save there that I wasn't even thinking about. Oh man, come on. Okay, well back to Pirate's Fortress. Let's get back to business. Okay, Hookshot, be good to me. Can you reach the beehive? Crap. Uh, don't tell me I came all this way. None of that can reach through. Deku Bubble. Wait, did I have this the whole time? Is this, if this works? No, it splats. Wait! It does not splat. Hang on, this is doable. Dude. There it is! Dang it! I could have done that before! Oh wait, no, I couldn't. I didn't have magic. That was the thing. Okay. I don't feel as stupid anymore. Okay. Well, now we can see what that is. It's showing gold trim. But I don't know if that's one of those chests that always stays that way. Surely it can't be, right? And now there's chests in the tanks, too. There's two chests, right? There's the one with the huge fish, and then I thought there was one somewhere else in one of the tanks. What is this? Is it actually real? Gold dust! That's another bottle, yeah, okay. Well, that's useless to me now, but I could sell it at the curiosity shop. No chest in there? Okay. Well, I know Zora eggs should be themselves. I don't even know what I would need bottle-wise anyway at this point. So, it's just cleaning up the remaining chests. Ah, I was hoping maybe I could get to the tank there. I know there's a tank somewhere that has a treasure chest in it. I got the junk pile of arrows from the one. There's the main 100 rupee chest that all the Gerudo are guarding. I don't remember which way leads to that, though. It's alright, we get to have these cool battles. I always like fighting these people. I never do it the cool way that I figured out a while ago, though. I think it's, you hookshot them, and they always flip over the hookshot, and they flip towards you, so then you could Deku nut them, and then stab them any way you want to. And it's just fun to do that. You can also do crazy stuff with the bow. I just, okay, yeah, this is the main chest, but I thought there was a smaller chest in one of the tanks, too. Oh, that reminds me of what the other convenience quality of life thing. The lab fish. You now only have to feed the fish in the lab one fish to get the heart piece. It grows to its biggest size and eats the smallest fish and then you get whatever that prize is. That's the other thing that's with like the dog race and the dompe and the beaver changes. There's that one too. So it's all come a very long way from the beginning. This is actually I think my favorite Zelda randomizer. For all the grumping I was doing in the last time I played, I still think this- I've always liked this game more than Ocarina of Time. Wind Waker was fun as well, but just Wind Waker's dungeons are sometimes just not really fun to play through. That's the downfall of that game. The world is awesome, but the dungeons sometimes. Nothing major here. Heart piece. Finding a lot of those. I was thinking it. Now that I know heart pieces are not considered a major item with a yellow chest, every time I see a non-yellow one, I'm like, oh, it must be a heart piece. Or rupees. So now the question is, does this lead to the tank that I'm thinking of that may have another rupee chest normally? Or is it really only the one with the big fish? I could have sworn there was two. Whoa, what is the targeting doing? No, it's not that one either. Okay, 
There's the chest on the roof, though. I didn't get that yet because I didn't have the hookshot before. So we just come right over here and we get it that way. Yeah. And I think this is the last one aside from the one that I can't remember where it is. Which tank it's in. There's one tank I have yet to see. I'll go check it real quick. That's junk. Yeah, I'm gonna go check that last tank, and if I can't find it, I guess I'll just see you outside of here then. Okay, I must be losing my mind, because I did not find another chest in there, but... I was thinking... Pinnacle Rock. I was thinking about it when I passed it before. Before I forget, let's check it. Two chests. The Zora eggs don't matter, and the seahorse shouldn't matter. I don't need the seahorse to navigate this. It's pretty easy, I think. Although I don't remember the specific signpost. What? What was that? I guess you gotta go straight to the signpost. That's dumb. But then my next question is, does he turn at this one? Or does he go straight at this one? No, that's wrong. Okay, he goes past the first one. Okay, that's the only thing I needed to check. Now I got it. I like this area, though. I like this better than the Haunted Wasteland, although that's cool, too. I don't know why I'm crapping on Ocarina of Time so much. I think I've always said Ocarina of Time had the better overall story. But the themes and the gameplay of this game are better. It's just then you have the dungeons that maybe in a way are less memorable aside from Great Bay I think Great Bay is good but I'm one of the few who thinks that wait where are the chests now this is one right I can't see no, it's not. Really? It's even showing on the map. Oh, maybe it's one lower or higher. Uh, I can't tell if this is the right one on the map. No, it's not. I don't think. Unless the yellow arrow is being weird. Whoa, that was close. I was almost fish food. Nope, that's the wrong one. Okay, where am I going? Look at the map for once. When did I pick up the map for this area? There's no telling. I always just... If I see that it's a map, I don't care immediately. Uh, concussions. I've actually never had a concussion in my life. Guess I should be thankful. There we go. It's major, too. What we got? No kidding. There it is. The Fierce Deity's Mask. Okay. trying to think what have I not already done that I like to use that for. The grave 1 and 2 doesn't matter because the final day grave is disassociated with those two. Alright, this is the last chest. I mean, it's still nice to have. I mean, it's good for the bosses. Primarily, it's main use. This is Major 2! Man, I'm glad I came here. Although, well yeah, first aid is good. You can't say it's not. A quiver! Yes! We have the bow! Man! Imagine if I have passed right through here, or forgot about it after I mentioned it. We can do things, dude. We could get to Snowhead. Uh... Yeah, we, we haven't even touched that. That should be the next thing. I always like the noise that the fire arrows makes when you're readying it. Oh wait, we gotta start in the snow, that's right. Not really too much slowdown, so that's good. Unlike that one seed, I still don't know what went wrong there. But okay, we are on the night of the final day. So Dompe's grave is one thing. You know what I never did too? 
I never checked with Guru Guru. I had plenty of opportunities. Or really, I guess it was only the one because I skipped day two. Reading the grandma story. Okay. So... What exactly can we do? We have fire arrows, so that's huge. We don't have the Goron's Lullaby, so the dungeon's out of the question. We don't have the Lens of Truth. So... It's impossible to heal. What's his face? The Rock Sirloin intrigues me because... If you don't make the baby happy, those torches don't light. However, I have fire arrows, so I could light a torch and then use a stick the rest of the way. The question is, does that actually work? I don't think I've ever tested that. This has something down under it, and... Well, no, hot spring water is hot spring water. We've already established that. Ah, oh, really? I thought the fist would work on that. I guess you actually need bombs. This seems to always happen, though. Stuff happens towards the final day. A bottle of red potion. Dang it, dude. That's just what I was about to start saying. That could go... If I could find the lens of truth, I could do Shiro. But that does still open up the witch. She has an item. And she's down there up till the end of the final day. And also, hang on, what am I thinking? If we're gonna be going to the southern swamp, let's ditch the milk. Young Link style. That was dumb. Um. Scoop the water and let it cool, and then we have spring water. And I still have that magic bean, and then I could go save the monkey. Or get whatever that chest was down in the bean place, but we already established that it's not anything major. So it's probably just a hard piece of rupee, so probably not that. Tingle. I don't have enough rupees for whatever he sells, but... That's probing my brain right now. The bow also opens up. Well... It opens up things that we can't do, because we don't have other stuff. But this cave has three potential options, so that could be huge. And then there's the powder keg test, which, dang it, I'm going to have to warp back to the owl section. Should I? Well... Wait, what? Wait, is this one of those weird things that changes depending on what day it is? Because this is a different path than I'm used to. I think it's always day one or something when I come here. Alright. What item do I want in here? Lens of Truth would be handy just to quick get out of here. And then go check what the powder keg test is. Goron's Lullaby would be nice. Ten bomb shoes, and we can actually hold them. This is major as well. Well, bomb shoes weren't considered major. Ah! Oh! Okay. Well, we have the largest quiver. So now all that's left is the standard bow. Which should not downgrade me, though, because no downgrades is an option. Piece of heart. Okay, I gotta... There we go, we got normal spring water. Yeah, I gotta warp back to the owl statue, I think. Okay, finally back here at the powder keg test. Let's test this. I'll probably just cut this out because it's annoying to just walk all that way. That's the one thing. I never did like the mountain area. There's lots of walking to and from the same spots. Because the rock sirloin is another thing. Then I'm going to have to do the same exact thing, basically. If it works. I don't know about that yet. Boom. Money, wait, that's good. Now I can check. Um, 
I was just thinking, the scrub. Let's see what he has. Although, that's still not enough money for his thing. Actually, you know what? It doesn't even matter. Let's just go. The Goron shop is random, though, too. So that rupee was huge to find just now, actually. That's two times in a row that... I was hoping that he would give me money instead of a powder keg. Ah, oh, and two times in a row that the shop has had crap. Not even worth it. I don't care about the heart piece. You know, for having double damage active, I can't even tell. I mean, I know I have the double defense. I got that immediately somehow. Oh, the baby crying. Oh, well. Let's test this theory and ignore the baby cries. And then, I guess it's off to the swamp to deliver the red potion. Or we could go up to Snowhead and just trigger the last owl statue. That is the last one, right? That'd be so cool if this works. I don't see why it wouldn't, unless those two in the other room also have to be lit. Which would maybe make sense. I'm glad nothing in real life cries like that. It does work, yeah! Now, how long is it gonna take to get a stupid rock sirloin? Second attempt! I will take it! Get me out of here before my ears bleed! Alright, buddy. I have that mask too. I found it underwater in the pirate's fortress. That'd be crazy if this guy has Goron Lullaby. The Couples Mask? <laughs> Wasn't expecting that one. Okay. So, at the start of the next cycle, I could get the mayor and correct my mistake with the Grandma Long story and not be A button hand. Coming up at the end here. Do I even dare attempt this without the lens of truth? How hard could it be? We know it's right, left, right. It's just a matter of trial and error to see how long. Oh, wait. Okay, so look for the brown texture. Go right. That's one third of the way. Okay. Uh, when do we go left? Wait, am I doing this? Ah, crud! I went, nah, nuts. Fast forwarding and... Uh, I'll try this for a little longer and then we gotta get moving. Wait, don't you even need the Lens of Truth anyway to heal the dude? Otherwise it doesn't work. Okay, I failed climbing that thing and I do think that we need the... Lens anyway to heal the guy. Oh! I forgot about the bomb bag. It's junk anyway, but let's get our money and deposit what we have. Uh, sell our items first. Sell the water because it occurred to me that it's the final day, so the monkey's getting dipped in acid. He's not in his cage, so you can't learn the song from him. And let's hold on to the red potion, though. Buy the heart piece, why not? We're here. <laughs> With the red potion we could still use to give to the witch, which is nice. I wish I could give it to Shiro, though. I don't know why, they're both a free reward. There's no telling who has what. So now the question is, here at the bitter end of the cycle, about to get the awesome music though, that's great. Just deposit what we have, I don't think I need any rupees for anything. I can't think of something. Oh! A thousand rupees, wait, is that the prize? That's what it is normally, why? Some of these prizes, I'm surprised that they're what they're supposed to be, because I could have sworn I checked them on the custom item list. 
Okay, well... Uh, Southern Swamp. Let's go give the lady her potion. Too bad about the monkey, though. Ah, nuts. Just, did you see the moon's teeth on the left there for a second? Every now and then, even still to this day, just random camera angles, you just get a huge shot of the moon that you're not expecting, and it just startles you. So that thing is still creepy. Oh, uh, what is the path on the final day? Monkey, guide me. And song also don't get copyright claimed. I could mute it. I don't know, it's finicky. How long is it going to matter for anyway? Because if you have to claim a video is made for kids even if it's not, then you get nothing. Except contextual-based ads, which play like less than 10% of the time, if that. Yes! Oh, beautiful! Interrupt the stupid music for the better one. Here you go, lady. Enjoy yourself. This is the best part of the game. When this song takes over and overrides almost every other possible song. Oh yeah, I know I have magic powers, but I can't help your monkey, he's already being dipped in soup. To the best of my knowledge, unless I was wrong, and in that case, whoops. Too late now. That five minutes is really like ten minutes, plus all the load transitions. So, hey, look at that moon. Magic? Nope. Well, let's claim our prize. Oh, and there's the heart piece too, I have, I'm Goron, I could just hop up there. Uh, red potion? Man, where's the lens of truth? Oh, we gotta sit through this, too. I forgot about this. Dang it, the music doesn't override this. Oh, well, look at the moon. That thing is crazy. Taking this ride on the third day. All right, let's fast forward. I don't even care. See you at the end of this. Five minutes to go, which is really like ten. I already said that, though. It's been five minutes the whole time. Alright, heart piece. Let's grab this. The title deed. I gave away the ocean one and never found anything else. So that guy's useless. The archery games. I, do they close on the final day at nighttime? Tingle? Wait a minute. Oh, he's 20 and 40, though. This is a new tingle. He has something new. I know there's one tingle unaccounted for still. It might be this guy. Song of Storms? Wait. I need money, dude. I could go check the music box house if I get that. Uh, and Dompe's Grave is still an option. Wait, there's things to do. This always happens, man. The final day. I love this, though. This is why I should have played the entire seed in the final hours. The only problem is you would constantly be having to play the song of time. Wait, there's still bats of alive. alive. This tree. Dude, really? Why does it feel like there's more bats than usual? Wait, now I'm actually concerned about the time, sort of. I also know it's super forgiving. It really is like double, maybe even more. What is it? New wave bossing over, you gotta be kidding me. This tree always seems to have something major too. I can do Great Bay, I have fire and ice arrows and everything else. So Great Bay is now doable. Uh, I need money, maybe grind these bushes over here real quick. Yes. Oh no, that's magic. But I mean, that's good too. No. Probably just gotta go to the field. Although there's some more patches of bushes over in on this screen, isn't there? Ah, 
Ah, whatever. Just find money in the field. I know it's there. Let's go faster. Come on. Money in the tree? No, not on the final day. There we go. We got the 40. Okay, let's go get the Song of Storms and then go to Ikana Canyon and clear that. And then there's Dante's grave. Is there anything else that I could potentially do that I'm forgetting about? I don't know at the moment. Bunch of songs back to back just now. Actually, it was just two. But, uh, it felt like a lot. I guess it was just because it was back to back. Uh, there it is. What a beautiful find here at the end of all things. This is also the first seed that I'm not going to beat in one cycle in quite some time. I shot a Goron Link's butt. What do you guys think about this Kappa crap? You really think it's the end of YouTube as they think? I'm still waiting to see what the big guys do. If they back out, then I'm backing out. Always, the Song of Storms is always awesome. I like how they removed that cutscene too. Because the music box thing is kind of annoying, actually. Stone mask coming into play. What could this be here in the final hours that would make me go frantic and try to do one more thing? Did the song just start over? Something weird just happened audibly there. I don't know what it was. Still need to find light arrows. Don't know where they would be. This is a good song too, a song of healing. I always forget about this one. This whole game just has insane music and mood. I think that's why I like it so much. I am very curious about what Breath of the Wild 2 is going to do. Okay, that's just money. So Dompe's grave, right? That's the next big thing. We've got plenty of time to do it. It's right down here. Uh, we better get the Goron mask, though. Okay, so we know at the start of the next cycle... We could just have one of those throwaway cycles where we do Grandma's Story, check in with the mayor. And whatever those prizes are, they might dictate something. And then we could just clean up things like... Since that'll interrupt any possibility to do the ranch or Andrew Caffey. Then... That leaves the spider houses... And the archery games. Those are like the last random things unaccounted for that are not associated with the major four areas. There's also some Scarecrow song stuff. I have to remember to get that. I almost never do that stuff anymore, but... On the way to Snowhead... There's a Scarecrow song thing. You need the Scarecrow for something in Great Bay as well by like the Fisherman's Game. Somewhere over in that area, there's a ledge. You need a magic bean for it too. But okay, so the thing with this guy... What's up, John? Mm -hmm. 
I think it's just this one that's right next to him, and probably whatever the next closest one is, and then up the ladder. It can never be anything else anymore. I always had that... I always seemed to have good luck with this Dompe in this game. Otherwise, though, even without this randomizer thing. So I'm assuming it's this one, right? It's the next closest one. Oh, here goes the hand. No? What? Oh, I think that's just the way that I like to go first. Oh, uh, hang on. You're done. Do you split into a bunch? I think it's just one major one. It's probably this one and then the ladder. Okay, we're good. There's some crazy remixes of this song on, uh... I think you can find it on YouTube still. And various other things. Okay, so the ladder must be this switch. You gotta get them on here. I think I always go up the steps, actually. I'm not used to the ladder side. I'm surprised I've been as happy as I have been recording this so far. Because I kind of, after that trip, I kind of fell into a depressive episode again. I don't know why. It was just a combination of everything. Coming back and having to face reality. Getting ready to leave my job permanently. And not yet really having a replacement for it. And then this cop of crap hitting at the same time. It's kind of, I don't know. It's frightening, I suppose. Foolish mistakes on my part, I suppose. Nothing more. There we go. Oh, this music instead of the final hours music. What a waste. I used to be really good at fighting these big bows. I know it's just shield, turn around, and aim. Not like that. There's a smoother way to do it. I also can't remember if elemental arrows actually do more damage, or if it doesn't matter at all, and it's just like numbers of hits. But it is a weird thing, I guess, about depression. That's what they always say, right? This stupid thing, there's always like a light at the end of the tunnel. Like, anytime you're miserable, it's just a matter of time before you feel happy again. There we go. Get a big po, we could cash that in too. Sell it at the shop for another 200 rupees. The bottom of the well is the only other time that you would need a big po, and there's one down there. This one I leave. Big po is the one of the things I always leave the same for that reason. But then I always disable the well anyway. The only thing I ever leave potentially random in the well is the mirror shield chest and the only way that could go wrong is if that chest is the light arrows because otherwise you have to go through the well but if you could find the light arrows elsewhere you could just destroy the sunblock and get the whatever the mirror shield chest is that way what did i just find i zoned out it wasn't anything important was it <laughs> Tomping, trembling Crazy. All right, so to the curiosity shop, I suppose. Nothing else we could do. Don't have the Sonata of Awakening, and there's no way to get that chest, I don't think. Um. Uh, I, wait, wait a minute. This grotto. I came over here earlier when I wasn't sure if I could do anything in the graveyard, and. I was by this grotto and couldn't open it. Oh, it's nothing major anyway. Yeah, curiosity shop it is, I guess. Can't really think of anything I'm missing. I mean, there's not much time left, but that's the fun part. Just trying to cram everything in last minute. Some people hate racing against the clock. 
But if you're in full control of it and just doing it for fun to challenge yourself, I don't know, this game does time mechanics better than any other game, I think. Like in Pikmin, it's kind of more annoying. But if you know what you're doing in this game, I guess you could say the same thing about Pikmin if you know what you're doing. Because I feel like in Pikmin, a lot more could go wrong. <laughs> Too bad about the lens of truth, though. Where did I find a red potion? It was from the grandma, her two-hour story. So maybe we could do that. Because, yeah, we could do that, and then it would be 10 o'clock. And then we could go check with the mayor with the couple's mask. And then listen to the long story. Or however we go about it. Wait, what? Is he full? You can't deposit more? Really? I didn't know they limited that, too. Well, if I had known that, I would have wasted... I wouldn't have wasted time in the curiosity shop. Um... So, getting ready for the next cycle. We know we're gonna do the couple's mask, the all-night mask. The inn is closed at the start of the cycle, but if we use the Deku mask, we can jump in the flower and get up there early, listen to the stories, and be on our merry way. So yeah, I think we've pretty much exhausted this, although there is the owl statue. The remaining one at Snowhead, I could go trigger that. Can't really think of anything else at the moment. There's time! I could even dawdle. Let's soak in the atmosphere. See how big the moon is. Thing is massive. I don't remember what it looks like on the 3DS. I remember being impressed graphically the first time I played it, but it was overshadowed by all the bad gameplay choices that they chose for that version. It's crazy though. This feels so much like real life, just walking around as a ghost. Where thousands, if not millions, before you also walked, and now there's nothing. It's like when you're out late at night and the whole world is asleep, but you're just there roaming because you have no idea what you're doing. Or why you're anywhere. Nothing makes sense and nothing feels right. You're just hollow, stuck with your memories that would make you feel full. But yet somehow, the more memories you gather, the more hollow you feel. Let's get ready to go get the Snowhead Owl, why not? It's very much actually like what Frodo says at the end of Lord of the Rings to bring that back up. Since I've just been watching it and relating to stuff to it this whole time. And it's like, how do you pick up the threads of an old life when in your heart you know there's no going back? Some parts go too deep or whatever he said. It's so true, man! It's that PTSD stuff coming back from war or whatever. Not that I would know anything about that, but I'd imagine it's something similar. Really any kind of significant significant thing. Even just coming back from traveling. When you come back to the same old routine. And you're just surrounded by your usual nothing. With more memories of other things and other people. Something about happiness. It's like the more happiness that you experience, the more it turns into sorrow the next time you're alone. The next time you pretty much go anywhere and have a moment's peace. Am I gonna fail this? I don't know why, but the past couple times, this has been giving me trouble, jeez. 59 seconds. We know that that's more like two minutes though. Doesn't scare me. Is it weird to say that I relate more and more to Lord of the Rings? <laughs> Every year I watch it. I think it's just the, the themes of it, the friendship and the, the hopelessness and all that crap. You understand all of that stuff more when you get older and you've experienced more loss. I feel like it stands out more. Where you could kind of recognize it when you're younger, but until you've been through it, 
You have no idea. There's something over there. I never got the Scarecrow song. What is it? Normally you could see the piece of heart. Uh... Yeah, I don't have the Scarecrow song, so there's just no way. Anything else that we could do in the last couple seconds here? Fierce Deity's Mask. Wait! The, uh, the scrub that I was gonna get 100 rupees off of. That heart piece. We could grab it now that I have Fierce Deity's Mask. I know how to do it. We will do that for the last couple seconds. Before... Going back in time. I guess I should bunny hood it, but I think we're okay. I don't know, in a lot of the ways, I feel like if I was in the Lord of the Rings universe, I would be like Frodo Baggins. The only difference is, I don't have the same kind of courage, because the whole theme of that thing is persevering when the only thing that's true is hopelessness. You still carry on anyway and keep on fighting, knowing that there's nothing in it for you. Why isn't this working? It did before, he's supposed to grab it like... A little child reaching for, uh... Dude... There's not much time, come on! Fierce Daddy Link, I know you can do this, what if we... Redawn it? There it is! Come on, yeah! All right, well, I guess it's a good thing it wasn't major, because then I would have been like, oh, why not? Let's let it tick down to the bitter end. Since we may be approaching that time anyway. I don't know if that's necessarily true or not. But, who knows? Not yet. Let's test those reflexes better than the Postman game. Whip out the ocarina when it hits zero. Could be throwing away the last, what, two and a half, three hours? Well, oh, 28 seconds. Milliseconds, that is. Now we go back to another time, live it again. Like a ghost. I don't know, man. I don't envy Link. I guess I should take a break. Am I splitting this? I don't know. It's always better to have one longer video. I don't know. I'm taking a break, though. Dawn of the first day. 72 hours remain. Here we go again. <laughs> History repeating itself, as always. Um, this is now the morning after Thanksgiving. I took a longer break than anticipated. I was delayed. But now we're here, picking up where we left off. And I reviewed the last thing that I had planned here, where we have to... Not mess up the grandma's story. And then we also have the couple's mask, so we gotta check in with the mayor. That's our first step. This might be a throwaway cycle, though, because... In listening to the story, we're skipping out on the setup for everything. Well, I don't even have... Cafe's mask yet, so I can't even set up anything. I don't have powder keg, I can't even set up the ranch. The two big events of this game, I can't even do. What do you have in your lap? All this time, do you have the answer to all the riddles, the light arrows? Once upon a time, there was four giants that stopped the moon from crashing down. Now it's happening all again because the same mistakes and the same sorrows always resurface. Or something. Oh, ah, ah, I don't know what the heck's going on. You gotta be kidding me, is the vanilla game prize. Why? You have annoyed me, dear woman, with your crazy nose. It's like those creepy noses of like the Mr. Rogers neighborhood, all those puppets. They used to creep me out as a kid. But anyway, fast forwarded to 10 o'clock. Let's go check in with the mayor and listen to his awesome song. I used to not like the song as a kid, but now I like it every time I hear it. It's a strange thing getting older. Your taste buds change, and even things that you once found boring are now fun, and things that were fun are now incredibly boring. I don't know what to make of it. But the song is awesome. Alright, piece of heart. What are you, the light arrows? Because that would answer everything. 
Nah, it's bomb chew. How many bomb chew, though? I'm not sure what that actually... One. <laughs> okay, uh... Well, never mind on that front, then. Okay, so, what was I saying? We have no supplies. We have to get some supplies. But the archery games... So, the town and the swamp... And then the spider houses, but it's already day two, so the, uh, the ocean spider house, the grand prize, is already... Wait, hang on, what's going on here? Let's just stick with the bunny hood, stay as Link. And... Focus on the archery games and stuff. So I need some money. Which one should we do first? Swamp or the, the town? I haven't done the swamp one in a while. I guess we could go there. That one's easier anyway. See what those two prizes are. Because let's see, it is the light arrows and the powder keg primarily that I'm really wondering. Oh, and the mask too. Like, I can't do anything. There's actually a few important masks I'm still missing. Alright, how much do we want? We don't really need too much, but whatever. It doesn't even matter. This guy couldn't even take any more rupees, so... I'm not concerned. Besides, we might find something and be able to keep on going and spending more money on other minigames. So, yeah, let's go to Swamp first. Get out of my way, sir. Thanksgiving was a little bit weird. I don't know, the food was great, of course. But, I went to my dad's house. I don't know. It feels like every Thanksgiving gets a little bit more... ...empty feeling than the previous one. I think I even ended the last video talking about feeling like a ghost, and... It, that's the best analogy I have for it. Because I'm just there at the Thanksgiving table, and the food is good, and it's nice to be together, but it's just really awkward. <laughs> hey, hey, yeah, 20 rupees, okay. Let's see if I still got this. Oh, it feels really sensitive compared to usual. That's what happens when you use a GameCube joystick set to 100% non-real N64 settings. You give it a little bit of a boost compared to an actual N64 stick. Alright, these guys. That's the thing, you can't miss the wolves. And out come the wolves! Um... Thanksgiving, yeah, I didn't finish that story. Yeah, I don't know, you start to see your parents in a different light through adult eyes. Another weird thing that changes as you get older, I suppose. And it's funny, it's like the more and more time I spend around both of my parents, the more I realize why I'm so messed up. It's like a combination of... I guess... The weird personality traits. Like the whole time, my dad was just up and down, being like, What do you need? Well, here, have this! And like, just forcing food on people, and like... God forbid... It didn't go exactly as he thought it would in his mind or something? And he's just like, well, just grab a place and sit here. Oh, you've got to sit here. And, like, it was just, I don't know, unnecessarily frantic. And it made me anxious, kind of, in a way. And then, meanwhile, there's my mom. Keeping in mind, keep in mind that my parents have been divorced forever. And I think they kind of tolerate each other better now than in the beginning. Uh, well, that was the dumb prize. Wait, what? How come I didn't get a prize? All right, hang on. Let's not screw this up. I think I got a better feel for it now. Oh yeah, here we go, let's keep this up. I don't know, it's just weird. One of the things that... This is my problem. I can't just be living any part of life and not be thinking too deeply about something. It's just, it happens, no matter what. So I'm sitting there eating dinner, and I notice immediately... I make an observation. I judge people's faces, or no, I read people's faces, I don't judge them, but, uh... And then, like, I take it all in, and then analyze what it means, and try to, like, analyze the feelings that I'm feeling. And it, it usually always ends up being somber, like, I noticed... My nephew couldn't sit still. 
and was just bored. I mean, he's a young kid. My mom was just faking politeness in a way you could tell that she was clearly uncomfortable. And then she would make these comments every now and then that were just clearly indicating that she's depressed. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. What do we get? I don't know why I didn't get the crap prize. Oh, thank you for speeding that up. I love you. What do we got? There it is! Kathy's Mask or Cafe, whatever his name is. Go figure. I'm really confused about the second prize here. Let's move on. Let's go to the other one. But that's really weird. I feel like I'm leaving without getting a prize. But okay, so that's another thing now. Let's play the archery game and then I guess we could throw this all away and start over at a new cycle. And immediately kick off the Anju Cafe stuff. We gotta get Scarecrow Song. For the two locations I can think of in my mind where that's required. I think there's more than that too. And then... Not Great Bay yet. Let's start at the Spider House and make sure we definitely get the day one reward for the ocean. The swamp doesn't matter. Any day you complete it, you still get the Mask of Truth, I believe. Maybe that's day one specific as well. I can't remember. And the other minor rewards that you get, I did not include in the randomization. Alright, this one is definitely way harder. <laughs> Maybe I got a little bit of practice though in the swamp, so... Let's see. You gotta be quick with the release. Like, even if you're not fully aimed yet, release the arrow and adjust the aim second to the release of the arrow. And sometimes that's just the fine-tuning you need to pull off the shot. Some of that Legolas action, man. Going back to the Lord of the Rings. Tis the season. I was re-watching the trailers, just trying to relive the moments every Christmas season when one of the new movies came out. I wish I could go back and relive that. But that's the thing, there is no going back. And that relates to kind of what I'm trying to say about this Thanksgiving thing. Like, there's my nephew, unable to sit still, bored. My niece was being a little bit more respectful and understanding and just sitting there bored. My brother-in-law and my sister were sitting there, clearly not wanting to be there and just being like, all right, another holiday, let's get it done. Concerned about Black Friday shopping because my sister does that. My mom was faking politeness and looking very uncomfortable and every now and then saying something really depressing. My dad's girlfriend, who is pretty sick. Oh, crap. Yeah, there you go. See, there they go. Oh, what a clutch perfect that was. Did you see that release, though? The release and then the jolt aim. That's what I'm talking about. First try perfect on the harder one. That's nuts. And it's not even worth it. I got my money back. All right, what's the crap prize? <laughs> Alright, well now I can continue my story. Uh, where was I here? Yeah, my dad's girlfriend's pretty sick. Uh, she's got some crazy stuff going on, so she was kind of there and not there at the same time. And... So, I don't know, you just kind of feel a little awkward about it. And then... There's me in all of that. Just kind of watching and reading all of these emotions and assessments of people's behavior. And I just can't help but feel like I'm bringing to the table a lifetime of memories. It's like bringing... I don't know, that's the thing, it's all memories. It's exactly how I ended the previous cycle. Talking about how it seems like the more memories you accrue, the more chances of being severely depressed you have. Or for some kind of somber moment, at least. Well, this is the junk prize, that's alright. That's what I'm after. So yeah, like, I, I can't imagine... You know what also doesn't help? I looked up a clip from Requiem of a Dream, you know that really creepy movie about drug use? <laughs> alright. Where's the other prize, dude? That's twice! Did they do something, or is this a bug, a new bug? Or am I, I, I must, there must be a note that I did not read, but I'm very confused. Okay, anything else worth doing before I reset the cycle? Um, I have bombs. It's too late for the Anju stuff. 
but it's nice to know we have that Scarecrow song. Spider houses, it's not day one anymore. So, Guru Guru, I never checked in with this dope. I'll kick myself if he has the powder keg. Okay, no. We're good. I can't believe I missed him. I guess to be fair though, he is one of those easily missable things. You kind of always forget nighttime. Oh yeah, the laundry pool. But he's accessible every day at night except for the last day. So it's like one of the easiest giveaway prizes. So you can't help but feel stupid when you forget about it. All right. Seriously, see, once again, this joystick thing that I'm talking about. A thousand rupee prize, what was it? Oh yeah, it was something stupid, but... All right, starting over. So now, what we have to focus on are... We can get to Snowhead. No, we can't, we don't have the song. That's the problem, we can only do Great Bay, which is doable, but given that we're kind of stuck after Great Bay, I think it's advisable to do the spider houses, which have to be completed on day one. We'll start with the ocean, because that's the one I definitely know has to be completed on day one. I'm not sure about the swamp, like I said. And also the Scarecrow Song locations, like in Great Bay and on the path to Snowhead. I feel like there's more. There's something in the climb to Stone Tower, but those checkboxes, there's like three items while you're climbing Stone Tower. Um, that, like there's a magic bean one, one that requires magic beans, and I think the Scarecrow song. There's also a magic bean location in the Secret Shrine. At the base of Ikana Canyon, by the Owl Statue. So let's get our supplies and go straight for the spider house. And we'll just carry on from there, which is good. I guess this is the part of the randomizer now where we have most of what we need, except for a few key items. So we're getting into that dungeon mode where we can talk about stuff and not really focus too excessively on the game. The other thing is the stray fairies. They are not randomized, as I've stated, but the ultimate rewards for cashing them in are. So perhaps doing Great Bay. Well, there's the ice arrow chest in Great Bay as well. Plus the heart container and the mask itself. We still don't know what the oath to order is because we haven't done a dungeon yet. So that's three items for doing Great Bay as well. Which may be the answer to all the riddles, who knows? It's been a while since I've been in here. I definitely prefer this spider house. I like this little slope slide thing, too. Yeah, I hate the swamp one, though. Just ca the excessive catching of bugs. Magic beans, which if you have the hookshot, you don't need them, but... I don't know. Still surprised that this game does not yet have a D-pad functionality. Like the Ocarina of Time rando. That is such an amazing feature. In this game, it would probably be advisable to put the transformation masks on it. Which then you still have to pull the upper, up the menu for the ocarina, but that's not really as much of a pain as constantly switching the masks, is it? I don't know. I'm sure it'll come eventually, the more that people continue to work on this. So, I'm just going blind. I also don't care about the heart piece in here because I know for a fact I did not check that box on the custom item list, so it's probably just the heart piece as usual. And that, again, is just to save time. I don't feel like getting the clues, because every time you play this game, the code is different. Just like the Bomber's Notebook code is different. Like the, the solution to shooting arrows at the mask to gain access to the heart piece that's in here, it's different every time. So there's kind of no way around it, using the mask to talk to all these dudes that are sitting around. Anyway, back to Thanksgiving. I forget where I left off in that tale. It's a little about memories. Yeah, it's just... 
I don't know how people do it as they get older. The Requiem for a Dream thing, that's where, where I left off, yeah. I was watching the creepy scenes of the mom in that movie. The one who's, like, taking amphetamines or whatever, and the fridge comes to life. She keeps on seeing the fridge trying to attack her, and she's obsessed with she's gonna be on TV. And then there's that scene where she's talking to her son, and she's like, I'm old, and I'm lonely. Or no, she says, I'm lonely, and then she says, I'm old. And, like, she chokes up on the word old, so it comes out with, like, that crying power. I don't know, it's just a little too real. I can't help but think of that all the time. It's just how many old people that... Their family is all scattered around and separated and not really there anymore. Friends have all moved on, and you're just... You are just old and alone. And she's, like, that whole scene, she's talking about... She's like, I get up and I make the bed, but why do I even bother? Like, I forget the exact quote. She's like, she doesn't have to, but she does it. And it just makes me think of my mom. Just there. Just simple things, like wiping down a counter. Like, what's the point? Nobody's gonna see that counter but you. Why even bother to wipe it down? It's just that thing. It's just, there's that little moment that welcomes so many depressing thoughts. I don't know, I just... I always think about that kind of stuff. And I read it on people's faces, my mom in particular. Like, she's my depression side, and then seeing what I saw from my dad, being like, Well, here, you gotta eat this. Well, why don't you sit here? Uh, well, hang on, what do you need? Does anybody need ice? Does anybody need something to drink? It's like, Dad, just sit down and enjoy the meal. And I'm just like, that's where my anxiety is, and my awkwardness. Like, what the heck? The combination of these two people should have never been, but it is, and now we suffer through it, and enjoy it. It's all about being grateful, too. That's the theme of Thanksgiving, and I am. I had a great childhood. No complaints. Divorce aside, that's, n that's not uncommon. They say the effects of a parental divorce, obviously you get over the, um, The logistics of it, I suppose. You understand both sides, you get it. But they say, depending on the age in which it occurred, the effects of it can still linger, much like a PTSD kind of situation. Whether or not you're aware of it at all or not, that's the thing. Sometimes there's forces at work that you're not even aware of. I like the C button switching while still in the C button first person view. on the wall. Yeah, I, I just... I can feel it in myself, and I just... I... I'm stunned. At anybody older. Like, I just don't know how they do it. I don't know how you don't get emotional in a way. About everything. Through all, like, the changes and the loneliness and stuff. Like, that's why immortality, to me, is the dumbest thing anybody could ever wish upon anybody or themselves. Why would you want to live forever? Why would you want to be... It's going back to Lord of the Rings. It's like the elves who have eternal life. And that whole Arwen Aragorn thing, how she's trying to get a mortal life. Because if she doesn't, and she ends up with Aragorn, eventually he's going to die because he's a mortal man. And then she will just linger like this depressed widow for thousands of years longer with nothing around her. I don't know. It's that whole concept. And I look at, like, my grandmother, who's just... I don't even know where she is. She's somewhere in a old person's home with severe Alzheimer's. Some days she doesn't even open her eyes. And before that, my grandfather was there with her, and any time we visited him, he was like, there's no quality of life here. And he was just so angry about being cooped up and just because he's older, you know? And it's like, it literally is a waiting bin for old people just waiting to die. And that's your life. Like, how are you not depressed in that situation? I don't know. It's a messed up thing. Getting old. And we all have to deal with it. That's the crazy thing. But yeah, just sitting there at the Thanksgiving table. You're grateful, of course, for all of the... 
the obvious things, right? The food, the family, the fact that everybody's still doing relatively okay. The fact you got a roof over your head, all the stuff that you take for granted, right? Of course you're thankful for that. It goes without saying, but I guess this is the time that you're supposed to say it and be aware that maybe things aren't as miserable as you play out the rest of the year. But... <laughs> Sensitive joysticks! I have one of those now. Just kidding, that's weird. Totally off topic. Total change of mood. It's unacceptable and inappropriate. I forget which pot. It's probably this one with the web over it. More on that in a moment. I always forget where the specific spiders are in this room. No? I know the three in the lamp, but I'm holding off because I don't want to pull up the subscreen. But I don't even care about that. I don't, I don't even care about this game. I'm on autopilot right now. I want to talk about my Thanksgiving experience. Because that's my speciality, I suppose, is talking about this deep crap all the time. And I feel I haven't done enough of it yet, this seed. For better or for worse, depending on who you are and what you like and what you're after. But I mean, it's 2019, almost 2020. You haven't seen Majora's Mask yet? I doubt you're here for Majora's Mask specifically. That was kind of cranky. <laughs> <laughs> Still love that Goron noise. Oh yeah, the memories thing, I still didn't fully finish that. I just, there, among all this, remembering past Thanksgivings, remembering ones that are full of extended family, aunts, uncles, cousins, everybody, the ones where you gotta, gotta put like together three giant tables to sit everybody at a table to eat. And then at the end, you know, some people are drinking, and then everybody's full, of course, but nobody leaves right away. Instead, you know, maybe we pull out a board game, or one of those, one of the more fun board games that exist, like Catchphrase, or not Trivial, Trivial Pursuit, but the other one that's kind of like Catchphrase. The ones that kind of get a little bit funny and frantic, those ones are always fun to play. And I just remember that, these like big, joyous, social Thanksgivings, and then compare it to the last couple ones, and it's just, you flatline, there's no life in it anymore. What do you got for me, buddy? Holy crap, there they are! Do we even need the powder keg? Potentially, there were songs- wait, hang on, okay, now we gotta think about the game for a moment. Uh... Stone Tower is fully doable, I think. I don't need the mirror shield. Ikana Castle is the only thing that you need the mirror shield for. Um... The Secret Shrine. Now would be the time to test the confusion I have in regards to that. We are- we can do Great Bay. We can do Stone Tower. Snowhead, we cannot access. We don't have Goron's Lullaby. We don't have the Sonata of Awakening, either. So, now we're at a dilemma. The Secret Shrine that I brought up. Uh... My dilemma with that... I must find out. I must know. The thing is, I know the Po Hut that I did last cycle, or two cycles ago, technically. That is only accessible when Akana is still cursed and you have not beaten Stone Tower Temple yet. The Secret Shrine... My confusion there is, do you have to cleanse Akana before you can do anything in there, or is it open at all times? This is the thing I always forget, and I am determined to get my answer to it right now. Because if we could do this right now, that's one, two, three, four, five prizes. This will pop up here. Oh! I forgot about this grotto, too. This is something. So I'm pretty sure every grotto, except for the, the heart piece ones, it's major, too. Holy crap. Okay. Man, I wish Zora Link was in Smash Bros. I would play it a lot more if you could play as Majora's Mask stuff. The Oath to Order, there it is! Okay. Wow. A bunch of crazy finds all of a sudden. Good choice to do the spider house. Well, we still got the swamp one. But now, hang on. Considering my hate for the swamp spider house, and the fact that we may not need it. What? I don't know. Let's, 
test this out. Stay on target. Like they say in Super Star Wars. I used to just play that final level of Super Star Wars and go smash against the walls just to hear the stay on target <laughs> over and over again. Okay, the door opens. This is the room, by the way, that you need a magic bean. There's a shelf way up top there that has a, a thing, but I disabled it because you need a magic bean, and that can be quite a pain. Also, I'm very curious, what's a bug? A bug is a bug? Okay. Well, we have a bug now in case we do have to do the other spider house. But, the answer I must know... Can we do this? Ye he he, ye who wandered here. I see not a reason why we can't. And I'm still, to this day, confused. Is this the Zelda game where, like right here, if I didn't have enough heart containers, she would stop me? He, she, he, she, it, whatever the heck that ghost thing with the stick is. A being, an entity. Well, that's the thing. I don't know. Do I have enough hearts for every room? Because I can swear that this is the game where it looks at how many heart containers you have and deems whether or not you're prepared for a certain boss. Like Wart and the Garrow Master in here. It's something major, dude. The Razor Sword! There it is! Well... There's no downgrades, right? Yeah, okay. That would have been cool. But the Gilded Sword was just there in the very beginning of the game. It's always in the beginning. I got it in the the archery, the town archery in the one seed. Uh, I don't remember who this is, but can we do it? I know I'm not losing my mind. I think there is something about this game that looks at how many heart containers you have. Hey, you know what? Go nuts. The hardest boss in this entire game. This guy right here, in my opinion. Of course, when you have Fierce Deity's Mask or the Great Fairy Sword. It's the manner in which I fight this guy. Let me show you my strategy. With the ability to wear this mask, that is. Just wait for the eye to open and know that your sword is long enough. All you need is a vertical slice or a good jump slash. There we go, we cut it a little bit. Don't even worry about the guys. But yeah, normally without this mask, obviously, in the vanilla game... Ah, nuts, that had no reach to it. Here we go. Now just go nuts, spin attack crazy. And hope that you connect with the eye at some point. Oh, come on, that was a hit, don't tell me. But you see what's happening? Look at my heart situation. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's the thing, you're just vulnerable the whole time, and it's just like, you're surrounded by stuff. That's why I say this is the hardest boss in the game. This is Major 2, what are you doing to me? I'm loving this. Oh, Mountain Title Deed, okay, who does that go to? Um, Mountain, whatever. Need some hearts, though. Yeah, with any kind of weaker sword than the Gilded Sword. Wart, which is the name of that boss, can really put a beating on you as you just stand spinning like mad. Ah, oh, this dope. That's the one complaint about this game, is this guy is just... everywhere. It's not so bad, but it's just when you see him six times in a one playthrough. Or however many times you see him. And this thing, just fast forward this because nobody's got the time. Where's the real guy? Alright. So we got this one, one more, and then the main award treasure. This has gold trim on it too. You gotta be kidding me. Powder keg? Oh, even better. What is it? Yes! Snowhead, dude! So now we just need the Sonata and then we're gold. We just got the Oath to Order. Yeah, we literally just need the Sonata of Awakening and this game is beaten. I have everything I need to beat every dungeon. 
Um, but that's one item out of how many potential locations still left unchecked. We might have to start doing the dungeons anyway. Oh man, I don't remember how to fight this clown. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Let's think about this. Are we doing Great Bay next? Well, no, we just got access to Snowhead. Snowhead. There's that Scarecrow song thing. Dude. Every, how, what are the chances that every single room of this place have something major? Oh, it's just a bottle, but... Still. Well, there we go. My question was answered. We could do this any time. However, I still am not sure about the whole heart thing. Okay, this is not major. Could be a heart piece, though. We know that they're in these kinds of chests. And it is! What do you know about that? Well, that's the way into the bosses. All right, let's get out of here. Or miss the jump entirely. That works, too. Okay, so now... Do we go to Snowhead? Oh, wait, wait, hang on. What was the time just now? It's getting a little bit close to the room key. We do have the mask now. We could start setting up the Anju stuff and do that this cycle as well. Oh, yeah, the mountain thing. Um, well, since we have the mountain thing, we should go to Snowhead. All right, yeah, let's do that. And that'll be a good starting thing. And, yeah, I gotta, I gotta remember to get this Scarecrow thing. Because there's the thing on the way to Snowhead, and the Scarecrow song comes in immense handy. In the actual temple itself. problem we have at the moment, or that I'm thinking about, is if I am going to try to do this all in one video, I don't want to push it to a length that's super long. And I could already tell just based on the fact that I'm not one cycling this. So I'm very curious too. Ah, oh, but I beat the test! Come on, don't tell me that! Man, I was hoping I could start setting up the ranch stuff, too, since I completed the test, but you have to find the powder keg, and that's your true stamp of approval. Crud. All right, well, the Scarecrow. Let's get that, and then go do Snowhead. But yeah, in regards to the temples and the stray fairies... Oh, crap. Uh, I can't use the my traditional Scarecrow song, because in this game you need it for the Indigo Goes. Bolero? Or Nocturne. There we go, that works. Yeah, because I remember one time I played... The song that you have to play with Joppas and Evan to him, and he's like, That song is terrible! The game knows that it's a special song that y you can't use... As your Scarecrow song. But in Ocarina of Time you can, so then you just swap some songs between the two games. So that's good. We have that insurance now. Um, Andrew business. Can't remember if... Don't they kick you out of the inn at some point? Because she's serving lunch? Or no, that's at closing. What's up, Gorman? Where's this mask? We don't have this mask yet either. That would pose a problem for the ranch and for the later parts of this Andrew business once we get the priority mail. Hmm. Come on, lady. I know you're gonna whip that door open any second now. There we go. 
I know there's a treasure chest in there, too. Mm. We gotta do some things. So, Snowhead, Great Bay, Stone Tower, just barrel through all the temples. Keeping in mind what we have to do here. Or, should I continue to investigate the other things, like the Swamp Spider House? What was in this chest? While we wait for the postman? Oh yeah. We can just fast forward it, maybe. I still love this, though. Even Breath of the Wild didn't really have this level of NPC movement. A little bit, but not to the extent that this game goes with it. I really hope Breath yeah. of the Wild 2 takes after this game. Yeah. It might end up yeah. being the best Zelda, who knows? Alright, buddy, step aside. Yes, 11.30 in the kitchen. Although, there's a little bit of leeway. I know, she's not technically there until midnight. She starts moving at 11.30, but doesn't get to the kitchen till midnight. And then, she's there, I think, until like 3? Maybe not. I forget when she actually turns away and gives up and then goes and cries in her room. In mass hopelessness. Alright! Here in Snowhead. Uh... That's not the right song. Dude, why am I- This always happens when I go between Ocarina and this game. There we go. Think about the baby, think about the baby, and then play the song. Hmm. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. We're right here, too. Let's do the Scarecrow thing before I forget. The Fisherman's Game, too. Since the ledge is right by that, that's a prize. Uh. Oh, dude, I don't have the Lens of Truth. I forgot that was another piece you need for this. Hmm. Do I remember where the platforms are? Thanks, Snowball felt good. That actually would feel really good right now. The platform's not there! I'm, I'm never gonna figure this out. Might as well just go do the temple. Stay on target. So yeah, the stray fairy thing. In an effort to save on video length, I'm considering foregoing the collection of the stray fairies. The problem is that might put me at severe risk. Because what if one of the awards for the stray fairies of one of these temples is the Sonata of Awakening? That's really all I need. That and the powder keg, maybe. Those are definitely the two biggest things that I need. Uh, I linger too long. We must wait. There we go. But yeah, with the hook shot, ignoring the stray fairies and the scarecrow song, I could just like go to the boss of this temple. I kind of feel like doing that. Because I haven't fully decided yet, but I think I am going to do just one giant video. Even though I know it's not always the best decision, but in a way it also is. Because for every person that has to view it more than once. Oh. How did I not get frozen? We do need the small keys, though. I forget how much. But yeah, if I stay in that mindset, ignore the fairies and just try to speed through these temples, that means I can try to do that stone tower thing I did in the angry seed in randomizer number five of these that I did in the playlist. Because I have the fierce deity mask. Wait. Small keys are, aren't they not in gold trim chests, are they? Well, I guess they are. Yeah, it kind of hurts me a little bit on the inside to skip these fairies, but I really think it's the best thing to do right now. Although, like I said, it is a huge risk. But it's one that I'm willing to take. In an effort to save the world. No, I don't know. This could really backfire. But I'm lucky with these things. Can't say that though, as soon as I say that, the luck's gonna die. But I'm gonna trust that the Sonata is not a great fairy prize. Maybe it's in here. 
This is where the fire arrows normally are. Oh, what happened there? Yeah, I don't know. It's just the ranch and the postman and Madame Aroma. They're like the big notebook things that are still locked. But Anju and Kaffi I can complete. Oh, whoa, I rolled a little bit too fast. Gone. I know I could switch to a more powerful weapon, but the Goron punch is strong enough. Two punches, he speeds like a crackhead. And then one or two more punches. I forget the final punch. It's two. There it is, okay. Please be the Sonata of Awakening. Cause then we could just comfortly know that this is the cycle in which we win. It's a piece of heart. Huh. That's junk, and there's nothing else that could potentially be in this temple aside from the ultimate stray fairy reward, which I'm foregoing in a huge risk maneuver. All right, so now the next question is, how the heck do we just get to the boss and be done? Oh, not like that. Scarecrow's song. Wait a minute. Hold on. In saying this, stop it. Look. Both ways before crossing the road. Find the platform. See the platform. Jump on the platform. Find the green door. Enter the green door. Raise the thing. Scarecrow song. Climb it. Don't punch it yet. Get the boss key. Then punch the crap out of it and go to the boss. Boom. Temple complete. Let's do it. Uh... Yeah, this'll work. I'm on the right side where the scarecrow is. He said. With extreme relish. Relish. Isn't that just crushed pickle? That was the wrong choice. I was supposed to light the torches. Because the fairies do not matter. Thanksgiving and memories. We have never fully finished the thoughts because the thoughts never fully finish. One chains to the next, and more can always be said. And that is the problem with negative thinking. It is like a black hole. There is no end. But then, couldn't you also say the same thing about positive thinking? Just keep chaining all the happy things. And that's what we have to practice. Now, I don't know about all that. Ah, the Requiem for a Dream thing. That is the chief piece that was spoken and left unfinished. So now we must continue with that. Yeah. I don't remember what more I had to say on it. Um, it's just that whole idea of being old and having memories of a full lifetime. Yet you still have to live another day. I don't know if we need this key. I'm definitely not continuing the rest of this room. That's all we need to do. Let's just get the key and get out of here. Use the Scarecrow song. I kind of like this at the same time, even though I'm a little bit upset in passing up the fairies. This is not how I play Majora's Mask, but time is always ticking. It's the theme. It's always my theme. Uh, let's just melt this thing. Why not? Because I need to come a little bit closer. What's wrong? <laughs> I love that guy. Why, why, who is that voice actor that does Macbeth in Star Fox 64? He must return. Why didn't that work? There he is. To the scarecrow, to the torch. Oh, I can't see the torch. Yeah, this is definitely the way to play this temple. It's funny how this is set up for the hook shot. It's almost as if it makes you wonder if in development at some point they intended this to be a hook shot dungeon. And then they change some things up. You never know. Unless you do know. In which case, you know. You know. Keep rolling. Rolling, rolling. What? 
Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Come on. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Yeah! Now I know y'all be loving this. Yeah, whatever. Limp Biscuit style! That's going back to middle school. Limp Biscuit. Didn't they invent a new kind of music? I don't know, I never heard of that genre. What, what do they call it? It's something new metal? Neo metal? Neo metal? Is that, that's not what it is, is it? No, yeah, it's new metal, but it's like NU hyphen metal. And of, until when Biscuit, I did not know of such a, such a genre. But music genres are weird. They get a little too specific, especially when you start talking about punk and stuff. Back when labels and things mattered, if they ever did. But yeah, street punk, son. None of that pop punk. And then there's hardcore punk. And what do you call the other ones that are like derivatives of street punk? Uh, you know, it's the one that would fit guys like the Bouncing Souls. What would you call the Bouncing Souls? Hot water music, that kind of stuff. I should know, but I do not know. It's not folk punk. I mean, really, it does kind of come down to that, right? Just name any other genre and then follow it with punk, and it's probably something. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, though. It's just, it gets a little excessive and stupid, and it's like, who cares? Music is music, is it not? If it tickles your fancy, then dance. And if it doesn't tickle your fancy... What a dumb phrase, tickle your fancy. What the heck is your fancy? It's... it sounds too much like fanny. And fanny is one of those words that, depending on where you live, could mean different things. I don't know, man. The world is weird. Still love this roll every time. It's a nice roll. The Goron Danish. Yeah, I definitely grabbed an excessive small key. Eh, whoops. Dude, not again! This happened last- well, Hang on, we know one of you guys were so delightful to remind me of a quick fix for this stupid mistake. Turn into wood and burn yourself. That is the answer. Oh, yeah, that, that probably hurt. Yay, and then we're back up there, right? Man, that's two times in a row. Bonking the icicles as if they're made of rubber. This isn't bowling. Bowling? Dude, let's go bowling. Milo's Astro Lanes on the N64. I remember there was a time where I desperately wanted that game. Just from one little page in Nintendo Power that advertised it. And it turned out I did eventually get the game. And it sucks. It's okay, but Wii Bowling is more fun. I want to play Wii Golf all of a sudden. Alright, goat. Is it time to redeem myself and off you in like 20-something seconds again? All of my attempts at beating this boss fast like I used to do, there's proof. Like two or three videos of me fighting this guy where I just used the arrows and he's dead. But the past several times, it has failed me. So side hop to the pot after jogging to it for a little bit. Hope that it protects you randomly. That was close. Okay. We might have it. Come on, come on. Dang it! What are you doing? Oh, and he's gonna run. He's like one hit away. Alright. At first light on the fifth day, look east. Yeah! That's right. I don't know, I, I think I butchered the Gandalf quote. That was acceptable. He hit me once, but then I hit him once more. 
And now he is no more. That's right, goat. It's about time. We don't have to waste 50 years in here. Alright, heart container. Sonata of Awakening. No, a bundle of junk. A heart container. Wait, what? Oh, thank God. I thought it soft locked or something. <laughs> that was weird. Okay, springtime in the mountains. There might be hope for the Sonata. We've got the deed, too. We gotta go give to the dude. So we got the grotto that is now open in the springtime. Oh, crap. The smithy. Where was the gold dust? It was in the pirate's fortress hookshot chest, was it not? And I don't have a hundred rupees to cash in the thing anyway. Unless... Oh, I thought that was 50 or 100 or something. But I was wrong. As is often the case. Cased? Why did I add a T at the end of case? That would be cassette, and those are an outdated medium. Or are they? If something can still be used, then it's not useless. This appears to be junk. But we will open it. And be thankful for the money! Thank you! Come again! Yes! Things just sometimes are convenient, and this is Thanksgiving. This is why we are grateful. No. It's not why we're grateful. Nothing about this game matters at all. But in a way, it does. We're grateful for the work that the developers put into it to make it a thing that we hold so dearly on a day-to-day -day basis or whatever. Alright, two chests here. That could be something. This looks like it is not anything. Nope. That's too low. As the shopkeeper would say in Star Fox Adventures. I actually deleted my Lord of the Rings Return of the King long play. That thing was getting a lot of downvotes for some random reason. And my thought process is people that don't know for some reason or can't tell that it's a video game by the thumbnail, even though it clearly said GameCube on it. They might have clicked it and saw that it said Return of the King, like, game movie or something, and thought it was, like, the full movie, and then downvoted it because it wasn't. It was a video game. It's like, what did you expect? You can't upload a full movie to YouTube. It'll instantly get taken down. So, uh... <laughs> Yeah, that's right, foot to the face. Didn't do a crap. But I like how the pulling the foot back also counts as a hit. So it's like one, two, three, four. Get your Zora foot on the floor. And start walking instead of singing old school songs. So now we drown ourselves because we can't swim as a chubby rock man. Mega Man. We're still gonna play the Mega Man X stuff, but we're kind of in like this moment of stalledness. We're stalled. We're waiting to see what happens with this cop of crap. It is a cop of crap. The scarecrow atop the mountain. Oh wait! I thought I have the lens of truth again. Alright, let's do Great Bay now. Uh Yeah! Fumbled a little bit in the beginning, but for the most part, I remembered the song. Finally got one. Well, I remembered one of the other ones earlier, too. The Elegy of Emptiness. I played that immediately while I was climbing Stone Tower, no problem. Because this game makes you play it so much, you had better not forget how to play it. Alright, Great Bay. This is going to be weird not collecting the fairies in here, or should I? Should we just forego Snowhead? Because the fairies in this place are kind of along the way anyway. So it's not too much of a time save to skip them, I don't think. I mean, you do kind of have to go out of your way for some of them. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe we shouldn't. This is the most annoying one, hitting four torches. You know what? Forget it. Let's just race through this temple and have some fun. 
Oh, by bonking our head first. Still love this place every time. We gotta beat Wart again, too. So we'll just do the same thing with the Fierce Deity Mask. That'll be good. And we'll see what the Ice Arrows are. And other than that, it's just the Great Fairy Reward. There is... Oh, and the Heart Container and the Mask. Well, no, the Mask is gonna be whatever the... What was the Oath to Order? I don't remember what I picked up when I stepped in the portal. Because it had that weird soft lock situation that scared me. Oh, yeah, we could just go straight to this room, straight to the green side. I guess you do kind of have to wait around on the fairies now that I think about it. But I don't know, something it just doesn't feel right to skip the stray fairies. I think because from day one when I first got this game, I had a Prima's player, player's guide, I think, that showed me the location of every stray fairy, and I think I used it. And so then that became my standard way of playing. It's just like you step foot in the temple and it's kind of like your morning routine. Like what's the first thing you do when you wake up every day? You kind of have a system that you do and it's kind of the same way when you enter one of these Zelda dungeons, you go about it the same way. That's what makes speedruns hard because then you got to unlearn what you are used to doing in favor of tricks and stuff. Don't know. But for what? A little bit of honor. I don't know. No, I guess... Usually that kind of stuff ends up being for a greater purpose, right? Since there's all these charitable events now surrounding speedrunning. So I guess that's what it's for. Who knows? There's some good in this world, Mr. Frodo. And it's worth fighting for. How did he not win an Oscar for that? And Gandalf, too. One of the great travesties of our time. Perhaps I like Lord of the Rings too much. Or perhaps not. Perhaps I like it just the right amount that it deserves. Don't know, man. I'm hungry again. It's time for seconds. In the morning. Cold turkey in the morning. That's a good breakfast, dude. Turkey is one of those foods that's good hot and cold, like pizza. Don't tell me you don't like cold pizza. It's not as good as it is when it's warm, surely. I need to go to New Jersey and eat some pizza. It's been a while since I've had good pizza. Something about the United States. The further south you get, the pizza turns to crap. The north. The states that were first colonized in this country make the best pizza. I don't know why that is. Something about the water. Yeah, look at those spaceman jumps. This music kind of has a creepy vibe to it. Kind of reminds me of Requiem for a Dream, actually. Did I ever finish that? I don't think I did. So many distractions all the time. I think the other theme there, since it's all about drug use, it's getting addicted to a thing. To pass those times where- <laughs> that's a cool freeze frame of Link. I don't think I've ever seen his feet in the air like that. It sounds weird. Moving on. Um... Yeah, like that woman in that movie. She was taking those uppers and believing in a scam that she was gonna be on TV. And then she was just constantly watching TV and somehow it gave her a false happiness that she clung to every day that made her make the bed or wipe the counter or whatever. Yeah, this room, we don't even have to bother. Keep on going. Well, bonk your head first. Oh, we can fierce deity jump here for a quick boss key grab. You could do it as Zora Link too, with a bomb jump. I just, it's been a while since I've done that. So we'll just try this. Ah, crud. All right, well, we'll get the key first, I guess. But yeah, once again, that reminds me of my mom. She watches these housing shows. It's, I don't know. It's like this middle-aged and older woman thing, or... TV shows seem to enter the picture. It's just a lonely concept. Just that image of an older person sitting alone in the dark watching the same TV shows over and over and over again. Nobody calls. Nobody visits. 
Are you feeling depressed yet? <laughs> Welcome to my world. I got a boss case, so I'm... can I climb this? Oh yeah, bonk my head through the ceiling, doesn't matter. Too bad you can't equip other masks over Fierce Deity Link. It makes you take it off first every time. Maybe it's the height thing, I don't know. Yeah, look at that. All right, Wart, I'm coming for you. Round two, baby. And you know what? We could Fierce Deity jump to this pump. We don't have to do any of this fancy crap. And you know what? The sword is so huge. Oh, the beams don't work on anything but bosses. I always forget about that. Boom. I love this mask. It's a fun way to play this game, being able to wear it everywhere. I haven't really seen any situations where it's a huge problem. I mean, obviously you can break the game. And there are some situations where it looks like you get stuck and the camera kind of goes a little out of bounds. But other than that, I see no reason why the developers restricted it. I guess other than the fact that it's super powerful. But whatever. I'll take some magic. But yeah, like that's once again finishing that point about Thanksgiving too. The idea of bringing a lifetime worth of memories to a new day. You have all of that to compare it to. So it just opens the door for disappointment. Like this year's not as fun. It's not as social. We're not laughing as much as we did this prior year. And so that emptiness haunts you. Because you're just surrounded by a remembering forever what used to be that is no longer a thing. Combine that with the fact that everybody looks older, so there's that, that sorrow that everybody's getting one step closer to death. It's just constantly looming. I don't know. Something's up with me where I'm just constantly aware of these things. Uh, whoops. <laughs> Spin attacks getting so frantic I accidentally pause. Let's go, chum! Wart was getting a little too chummy. And when people get too chummy, I like to call them by the wrong name. To let them know that I really don't care about them. <laughs> Whatever Ron Swanson says. Parks and Recreation. I never really watched that show, but I have looked up clips of Ron Swanson. This is also major. What the heck is this? The cow mask! Well, there you go. That... Okay. We could give the priority mail to Madame Aroma now. That's basically what that means. That's really all that that means. Why did I think that there was more to that mask? Maybe because you get it from completing the ranch side quest. So I thought that it was needed, but it's not needed. Each mask really only serves one purpose. Uh, where is the one with the red and yellow pipes? Is it this ladder? I don't believe that it is. However, it might be this side. And if not, we could always ride the flywheel. It is. Yes. Beautiful. Now, the problem is... Look at the time. And you said, meet me in the kitchen at 11.30. We know that that's actually 12. So now the personal challenge is let's beat this boss before all this Anju meeting business. I can do it. It's all up to you. Okay. I don't know. Maybe it's just all me, dude. Just something about seeing my parents get older. Knowing some of the stuff that they're dealing with health-wise, too. It's like, ah! It's kind of hard to smile. Because there's a piece there that always is left in wonder. In a very anxious wonder. But it's been years since I remember, like, Thanksgiving and Christmas being all... What is the word? Jubilant? Jub... How do you pronounce... What the heck? Jeez. Zora Link broke. How do you pronounce that word? Is it jubilant or do you say jubilant? 
No, there's no you. Oh, I feel stupid. I hate when I don't remember the proper way of pronouncing words. I don't know why. I like words. I feel like if you don't speak a second language, you should be a master at the main language in which you speak. I actually do kind of like English stuff. I don't know if I would call myself a grammar Nazi because there's some stuff that I forget all the time too. I think I'm a little bit too grammar excessive. Ah, what the heck? Overshooting the thing. But yeah, what I mean by that is I tend to add too many com commas. That aren't really necessary because there's some instances where you could have a comma, but it's not necessary. And in that optional instance, it's best to omit it, I think. And then, of course, there's the semicolon, which doubles as a period, but you don't want to end every sentence with a semicolon because at some point, it's just, I don't know. It's meant to continue a thought it related to the sentence in which it follows. And the colon is only used for taking craps. No, that's the wrong colon. Ah! Oh, man, I'm getting frustrated now. It's time for Anju. I can't believe I missed this jump twice. But yeah, the colon is used explicitly for when you're about to list things, or... I forget the other main rule. I just know you never use a colon as a means of ending the sentence. And also, I failed. Let's just get this Andrew thing out of the way. Because I can't remember actually where... Um... What do you say? How do you say it? Uh, she leaves the kitchen. Yeah. I'm fast-forwarding this because I don't care. Time is not really that crucial. She's not even in the kitchen yet. Come on. Yeah, playing in fast-forward. Wasting no time. Frustration. That's what fast-forward is. It's, it's my dad's mentality. It's like, anybody need nice? Here, you should sit here. Have this. Ah! Ah! I'm coming for you, Andrew. Get ready. I'm saving your love. Right on time, too. Boom. Now she stopped with her hands folded, waiting. And here I am, baby. Look at that. I am an agent of time. And thank you for not randomizing the letter. It just makes setting all of this up easier. Sing a song, sing a song. Play it right. Okay. Fast forward. Nobody has a time, man. It almost sounds like, uh, what do you call the things with the trumpets? <laughs> Great description. It is the thing that plays records but has a giant horn attached to it. What is that called? Phonograph? Nah, that's not right. But when you fast forward, the sound has that same crinkle. Alright. We checked the mailbox, right? So... Right back to it, then. I will meet you back at that stupid pinwheel that I was messing up like an idiot. Or a dope. Freeze. Alright. Let's not mess this up. I don't understand how I missed it. Whatever. We're good. Fire arrows light the way. I definitely could have beaten this before the Andrew. I'm pretty sure she's there till like one or three. No, she's there past one o'clock. I don't know when she turns around in the kitchen. But I feel like I could have beaten this full dungeon, the boss and everything. And still made it on time. Oh well, it's still cool that I got there at exactly midnight when she stops. I was basically right there. Boom. That's a mastery of things. See, if only real life had that. Imagine if you could do a day, completely screw it up, play a song of time, and then redo it, knowing exactly what's going to happen and anticipate everything. That is the power I wish I had. But then I guess that defeats the purpose of life. I don't know. But that's the thing. You're not supposed to know. Oh, whoops. Look at this. Impulse fingers. Conditioned. Third one. Some of these fairies, man. I didn't even realize that was my third one. 
I'm, that's what I mean, or I'm just conditioned to collect them. Some of them I'm like, seriously thinking, okay, wait, no, just keep going. We don't have to bother. But then other ones, I'm just too used to doing it. All right, what is left? My favorite fairy. Do I really pass up my favorite fairy? The one to the right in the tunnel that you jet through. Oh, sorry, buddy. It's a lesson, though. Everything goes away. Sometimes you're waiting on a friend and the friend never comes. What will become of that fairy in the tunnel now? Will he suffocate on purpose in his bubble to rid himself of the misery? It's a little dark. It's like my mom during Thanksgiving. I don't know, somehow we got on the topic of... She's about to work for a medical college or something. As an admissions person. And then... I mentioned something to my niece because I know she wants to get into... Not really medicine, but uh, animals. V what is it? Vets? Vet veterinary science. There you go. Except you don't say it like that. I don't know. I somehow segued into that. Talking about this medical college. And then my mom, just out of nowhere, during Thanksgiving, when everybody's supposed to be happy and having a good time, she's like, well, you know, I read that a lot of vets have extremely high suicide rates, like over 50%, because they just get that attached to the animals. I'm like, why are you saying this to your niece? It's just some things, man. I just don't know, man. All right, see, Target, work with me. Bye-bye, fish. What do you taste like? Rubber, because you're a mask. The embodiment of a mask. Gargantuan masked fish. If a fish could dress up for Halloween, what would it go as? These are questions I have. And it's done. One more to go. Time to speed through Stone Tower using the Fierce Deity Jump trick. In which you just obtain one small key, one boss key, and run to the end. Yes. That's what I'm feeling. Let's do it again. Arkanoid do it again. Is that a Nintendo 64 game? Aha! They fixed the Oath to Order constantly repeating and dumbed it back down to Recovery Heart. Unless whatever the initial thing was... ...was useless. Maybe it was a Rupee and now it's a Recovery Heart. Don't know. Alright, so we gotta cash in the things. So we need bombs. Oh wait! We didn't collect the fairies. See, once again, I'm on autopilot with the stray fairies. With the stray fairies? Why do you say it like that? That's like Pennsylvania talk. Oh, are you gonna go upstairs? <laughs> I don't know, it's just... Certain syllables, weird emphasis. Uh... Let's just keep on moving, dude. The Sonata is the thing still, though. Where is it? I regret to inform you that it might be attached to the stray fairies in which you're not collecting. Do not go there. Hold on to hope. Was there any hope, Gandalf, for Frodo? There never was much hope. Just a fool's hope. Uh, so press on the left switch, sing a song, shoot the light, and... I don't know. The rhyming word that I was gonna use was thong. That's what came to mind first. I wonder why. Nah, I don't know. Alright, sensitive stick. Let's be careful now. That thing's mouth in the distance creeps me out. I don't like it. Let's make it go away. And flip it upside down. <laughs> Except it's still there, even when it's upside down. It's got dual vertical mouth, like that creepy scream painting. Make sure you wear the bunny hood when jumping over these things, because Link's normal jump is too short to reach. You gotta do a rolling jump, and hope that your control stick works fully. Because if it has any little bit of not pressing forward enough, in the hole you go. 
and it's a pain in the neck. All right, initiate stone tower, super fast, skip everything. The problem is the light arrow's chest. I'm gonna forego it, and what if that's the Sonata of Awakening? So we just Deku, grab the small key, and then Fierce Deity Jump, grab the boss key, go to the boss, boom, temple done. Faster than even Woodfall. Assuming I can make the jump, that's the thing. Because that room right there, blocked by the little spike balls, may it burn eternally. I hate that dumb room. People say this is their favorite temple, too. I don't know what it is. I mean, I definitely appreciate the complexity of it. The complexity. Say it right. Or pay the price. Whack, whack. There's our small key to gain access to where the giant's mask chest is. And the eye gore, or whatever it is. So now we just gotta make the jump. Too bad it's not the final hours. That's what I wanted to do. Why didn't I do that? Dungeon Russ, all four dungeons with the final hours ticking down. Or at least night of the final day and then beat all the dungeons. I feel like it's possible. Ah, Croyd! Okay, wait. I gotta get this though. Third time's the charm! Yeah! There it is! Okay, we're on track now. We just got the boss key, and we're good. We have just the right amount of small keys to get to the boss chamber. The only thing is, I don't have the giant's mask. Unless it's in its respective chest somehow still. It shouldn't be, though, because I randomized it. But then the next question is, what do we do after this? Without the Sonata, if... Unless, maybe Twin Mold has it. Let's hold on to hope. Ah, oh, this guy! One of my favorite mini-bosses. Twilight Princess had some cool ones. Like that skeleton thing. That's kind of similar to this guy, actually. sound when he spins his little scythe. Oh uh, yeah, then there's the Zelda problem where everything is just way too easy. I don't know. Breath of the Wild was definitely challenging that first time through, but then you learn all the tricks, and it's like just as easy as any other Zelda game. Just fights take longer, which is nice. I kind of want to play that game again, to be honest with you. I have like this weird Breath of the Wild urge, but the problem is that urge tends to come up and then if you actually answer it like very quickly, like within the first hour of playing the game, you're like, oh yeah, I forgot this is like a 300 hour adventure. <laughs> and then you get defeated and don't actually want to do it. But there's bits and pieces that you think about in your head and then you want to play it again. But like the shrines, menuing dude. I don't know, at this point it's probably best to just not replay it and just wait for the new one. And be blown away, hopefully, once again. And if it really is as moody as this game, and like Twilight Princess even, just capitalizing on the dark themes, I think I might really end up liking it. I mean, I'm gonna like it either way, with Ganondorf potentially being back in the picture. And if you could play as that Zelda, like I so desperately wanted to be like an unlockable feature in Breath of the Wild. Or a DLC, even. That would be awesome. Not sure what they're gonna do about those champions. Like, are they just done with them? One and done? Makes you wonder. Alright. So we have passed up the light arrows. That could be something major. But there's still two items. This and the heart container from Twin Mold. Look at that, dude. All on the night of the first day. Or was it daytime still when I was in Snowhead? I can't remember. 
I think it was just about to turn nighttime. So when you forgo all the stray fairies, you can just blitz through all these dun dungeons in one day or night cycle. That's nuts. Dang it, that's useless. A map of Stone Tower. So, about the deep stuff, what have I left unfinished? Oh, there was one thing when I was looking at what I recorded prior to starting this one up. Um, I was about to talk about it sometime when we were in Woodfall going around collecting those chests. Uh, if this gaming thing and this COPPA thing fails in a way that makes it so specifically gaming stuff on YouTube becomes nearly impossible. For a while now, I've been toying with the idea of getting various camera things, specifically investigating a pair of glasses that have a camera on them and kind of recording these like first person vlog things. Kind of like travel logs in a way, but not really as detailed as like some of the big people who already do that on YouTube. But it was an idea that I had if I wanted to keep making videos of some kind. But I don't know if I really want to do that or not. And at the moment, I definitely don't have the money to just go spending on some really fancy camera glasses. I also don't think they invent or they have any camera glasses specifically that are good. I think even the best pairs of those things still kind of have issues. Obviously, they're never going to be as good as a real quality camera. But I don't know. Because one of the problems I've had recently with all of even this gaming stuff is just... I feel like I keep repeating a lot of the same stuff I always talk about. The themes always stay consistent, so it's like I'm running out of stuff to say. Which kind of goes back to some of the things I was talking about coming off of this vacation that I recently had. Uh, I don't know, there's this weird conflict in my own head where the gaming stuff is fun, yeah. And even just the YouTube stuff in general can be fun. But at any moment when real life is actually nice, it's leaks better than any of this stuff. And it, oh, sneaking up behind me, huh? I don't know, it always just makes me think, or just makes me remember that real life things are just the way to go. If it's at all possible to lead a good real life and not be so attached to all this electronic type stuff, And that's the way to go, right? It's just, I don't know. Problem is, the last decade for me has been like a stalemate. That's the word that I always use for it. It's like, I got an education, but it was the wrong kind. Is what it feels like, so I'm stuck. I guess to compare it to a randomizer, it's like... Right now, where I don't have the Sonata of Awakening, but all I want to do is go to Woodfall. But I can't, because I don't have the Sonata of Awakening. It's that one thing that's missing. So it's like, how do you get it? And obviously, in the context of the game, first of all, we already know every single rule of this game. So... Oh, jeez, I gotta watch my health, man. So yeah, there's that, which unlike real life, in which everything is a constant mystery of that's terrifying. Video games, you know every possible rule, every location, it's all in your head already. You can anticipate, predict, and intercept. Okay, I'm scared now. And I have no milk. Too bad about the giant's mask. Come on, one of them just has to go down. 
But yeah, it almost feels like I need to go back to college and redo what I already did because what I did wasn't good enough, even though it was good enough for what it was, but that what it was is not good enough for the world. So it's like you gotta pick the right thing and then correct it from there, but that requires money first. Once again, it's like you can't beat Woodfall Temple without the Sonata of Awakening. It's like you can't start life until you have the money to fund it. And so then you get stuck in this dead-end position, and it's... Time shows no forgiveness for that. It does not wait just because you don't have the right tools to progress. Time doesn't give a shit. And that's the problem, and then you get faced with the, these moments where you're sitting at a Thanksgiving table and everybody you've ever known looks a lot older and you worry for them. All of that stuff kind of starts to plague your thoughts. And it's a very hopeless thing. Oh, okay. Dawn of the second day! Oh yeah, okay. Ah. Alright. Luckily we're picking up magic and arrows. This mask is totally useless in this fight. I keep on saying how I, how much I prefer this version of this battle compared to the 3DS where you have to like wrestle the red one. Uh, which is cool, but yeah, now that I'm seeing this, this fight kind of sucks actually unless you do have the giant's mask. I guess in a way you could say this is the hardest boss in the game, there we go. So. Now it is just where the heck is the Sonata? Maybe it's here. This is it. This heart container could be it. No, it's just money. And this is a recovery heart. We already know that. Oh, man, should I have been collecting the fairies? Well, hold on. I don't know, I gotta look at the menu. What, do I have anything that I'm forgetting about? The mountain title deed. Wait. And okay, and there is the rest of the Andrew stuff that we started. Okay, wait. This goes to, not the mountain, it goes to the Zora. But, speaking of that, there's the scrub right here. We can see what he sells, at least. Oh, jeez. Because, yeah, got to keep in mind that they all sell something in addition to the trade. So, yeah, well, that'll be our starting point. Ah, get out of here. That's right. Evading you, son. So, we'll see what this guy sells, then go do the mountain deed. And I also know where the other one was. We had the ocean deed that this guy wants. It was right in the grass. Outside of the southern swamp clock town exit or whatever. That that might not be a piece of art. What do you sell? Do you need a lens of truth for 100 rupees? Yes, I do. Oh, man. The scarecrow thing that's been bugging me this whole time. Okay, so there's that. And then what else is that useful for? Day two graveyard? Hey, it is day two. Uh. Yeah. So. Immediately, what comes to mind? That's awesome, dude. He had the lens of truth the whole time. So, mountain village. And then, we'll check this. Also, I keep forgetting about the stupid other scarecrow spot. I think I need a magic bean. Where did I... Oh, I only got that from the bean salesman. I haven't found the true magic bean yet. And the magic bean scrub salesman was selling rupees. That's kind of a pain to go all the way to the Deku Palace for a bean. But that's the next question. Where's the... The true first magic bean that you're supposed to get for free? Anyway, one thing at a time. Let's finish. 
finally, whatever's up here. Before it's too late and I don't have a Scarecrow song. Do these platforms change depending on the day too? Wait, what? Oh man, it is one back, okay. Alright, so we'll check this and then go to the Zora place, because that's who takes the mountain deed. I could also buy his rupee. That guy was selling a hundred rupees. And then we go get the other title deed that we know is in the grass and trade that to the Econus Grove. We'll start there. I mean, I could go collect the stray fairies. There's time. I could go pick them all up. It's just... Snowhead is the arduous one. I wouldn't mind going to Great Bay again. Actually, Stone Tower sucks, too. But I don't know. Dude! There it is! No way! Okay, wait, wait, hang on. Never mind. I don't need a single thing anymore. We're done. But... I am curious now about these title deeds. I still want to do what I was saying. Boom, boom, bam, boom, boom, bam. So we go to the mountain to give the the dude, Dumby, Dumby, Dumberson, bringing the mountain deed to the mountain scrub. That's not how it works. It goes to this guy. I even mentioned it. Why did I don't know? It was a what they call brain flatulence. It's about as delightful as it sounds. All right, so this guy is like, oh my gosh, you're from the mountain, so you gotta be chubby Goron. Oh yeah, oh well, screw the rupee. I don't need it, I have all that I need. But this, I'm just very curious. The mirror shield, I forgot that existed for a moment. Where's the powder keg is my biggest question for the ranch. You know, out of curiosity, I want to trade in the other deed. So, actually, staying as a Goron is the fastest way. Sing a song and away we go. Back to clock down and out the swamp door just to get the little thing. Roll super fast. We don't even need to slow time down. Just get me to the grass. Oh, okay. Maybe need to slow to dodge the little Deku Baba. There we go, we got this thing, so now back to the Econa, dude. Just for the curiosity's sake, because it's going to bug us all to the end of time. Or until you forget, and more important things, enter the picture. That's a thing, too, going back to the real life stuff. Like, when I was on vacation, some of my favorite YouTubers were uploading videos, but I just didn't have the time to watch them. And... After so long of that, it's like, why even bother? Like, eventually, your next really bored, lazy moment, right? You catch up on stuff, but maybe not always. Maybe not every single video. It's a weird thing, this YouTube stuff. What's up? This guy says something about nut brown beauties or something. I don't know, he's an interesting fellow. Ah, crud, all right. Yeah, it was right, I skipped it. He said something about brown beauties, though. Well, although there's this. Let's see, other items. What else am I missing that would just be nice to know where it was this whole time? Milk. Not a bottle of milk, just milk. So that means, oh, it just filled the first bottle. I could see it already on the side. All right, so. We're good. We're now we're at the end here. Yeah, powder keg and what's the other space for? I don't remember right now. Oh, great fairy sword. Yeah, that's somewhere too. Maybe one of the great fairies has these things. But all I care about is woodfall. I mean, we could collect these fairies. This place is quick enough, right? Why not? Let's not skip them all. We'll get the fairies this time. I don't mind this place too terribly. 
Give us something to do. What was I about to say? Oh, the real life thing and the watching videos and the time. Yeah, that's the thing. It's just, if you're really busy and you've got stuff going on in your life, it's kind of hard to find time to watch YouTube videos. Even if it's something that you would like to watch to support somebody that you like or whatever. Um, where was the Great Fairy's Mask again? I almost like forgot that I even had it. I think it was from Tingle, right? In Clocktown, that's where I got it. But it's like, let's just say you have a whole month or two months of busy. Like maybe you have work travel and you get caught up in that. By the time you come back and you have access to Wi-Fi and stuff. Cause that's the thing, sometimes if you travel internationally, you have to be really careful cause then you're on data plans and stuff but once you're back to the comfort zone of your own internet stuff and you don't have to waste your data it's like by that point you could have missed like especially if it's a daily uploader you could have missed like 90 videos it's like you're not gonna go binge watch all 90 unless they're short enough And then, of course, when you really get into that swing of things, too, when you're just out there living life and staying busy, it's like, why would you want to slow down like that? Like, every now and then, yeah, it's good to just relax. See, that's the thing. I feel like most normal people, they get that on their Saturday, Sunday, right? They work Monday through Friday, maybe. I know there's a lot of people who don't. I've The only Monday through Friday I ever had was school. Every job I've ever held has been random days. But, most people have the Monday through Friday, and then Saturday and Sunday are the universal weekend days, right? And one of those days, you're lazy, and maybe you watch TV or play a game or something, and it's fine. But it's like you give yourself just that. And let's just say you spend a whole day watching videos. I don't know, usually that kind of stuff makes you feel like crap. When you do have the realization that you wasted the whole day. So, I don't know, that just doubles with what I've been saying across multiple videos by now. It's just the constant conflict of enjoying it, but at the same time, wishing it wasn't so. And always wondering, like, what if, what if something was different? And that's why I say, like, the potential only benefit of this COPPA stuff, maybe if it goes through and obliterates a ton of YouTube channels, I mean, I don't think it's a good thing at all. Because there are people who do... Like, this is their career. Like, non-gaming stuff, I mean. I don't know, I feel like gaming things instantly gets a sour taste. Like, if you tell a general person who maybe isn't really into video games that you do gaming videos on YouTube, I think their initial reaction would probably be, be something negative. Something judgmental, I suppose. Because for some reason, video games still carry that connotation. I don't know what it is. Like, it's a teenage thing. I think of the line from the 40-year-old virgin. He's like, yeah, you got more video games than a teenaged Asian kid. It's that kind of thing. Because there is that idea, at least... Where I am in the United States, there's that pressure. I think it's worldwide that as you get older, you take on the responsibility and then you're just busy all day. You work all day, you come home, and then you make dinner and tend to whatever needs doing and then just get to bed and do it again the next day. And find fun in the things that are not fun. Because that's all you've got. Because now you're the one running the show and... More red potion, all right. It's not like everybody who makes fun of people who are casual gamers. Or, oh, filthy casual or whatever. It's like, well, that's, that's some people, that's all they have time for. It's like those 20 minutes a day, maybe, if it even is daily. Or 20 minutes a week. Just to sit down and relax, maybe like an hour at most. 
That's why you got so many people who all they do is play Call of Duty or whatever. And there's nothing you could say about them. I don't know. It's almost admirable in a way to be that rather than this. That's my own conflict, though. That's what I'm talking about. Is just which is okay and which is not. And then some people say, well, anything is okay as long as you're happy and able to take care of the important stuff still. But I don't know. I never know. It goes back to what I was saying about how I'm always analyzing crap that doesn't even need analyzing. <laughs> I don't know. Because let's just say, I do finally understand, Mr. Frodo. I know now. People in those stories, no, folk in those stories, had many chances of turning back, but they didn't. Or whatever it is. I don't remember the quote. Dang it. But now what I was going to say is, let's just say I do deeply analyze all these things and I find the true meaning that I'm so desperately searching for and everything just suddenly makes sense. What am I going to do with that information? Just going to prove the own, uh, my own pointlessness and all of my worrying and thinking. It's almost better not to think. Don't think, just do. But if you don't know what to do, then how do you do? How do you do? Top of the morning to ease. That's my thing too. I uh, speaking of Thanksgiving, I'm grateful for everybody on this planet who has just natural drive. Like they wake up in the morning and they know what they want to do and they do it. And they see that stuff gets done and they don't stray. Or if they do stray, it's not for long. I envy that. Because I'm in a constant state of, I don't know. I can't even tell you how many nights, like, I'm just up wandering at 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m. I'm somewhere on this planet just walking around, and I don't know what I'm doing. Like, not a thought in the world, just so much absent-mindedness and confusion. And it's in those moments that you look back and remember good times. And then things kind of go dark from there. But I think it is just kind of like how they say you need to get, get a foot in the door. Is what That's the saying like, as far as jobs. I think I really think that is what it is. Like it doesn't really matter what you do in your free time as long as you have everything structured outside of your free time and you're able to manage I don't know it's it's a weird thing you have to be successful in the societal sense to a degree before you can relax I believe and if you don't have that and you don't know how to have it or you just are having trouble getting started with it it's like a constant state of turmoil every single day That's where you start to question every little thing and be like, is this okay or is there something better I could be doing? And usually the answer, I think no matter who you are or what you're doing, there is always something better that you could be doing. The thing is, is does that matter? And I would say, no, it doesn't matter at all if you have everything together. And I guess in this sense, I'm talking about a career. Like if you have a decent career that you're financially stable enough, you're saving and potentially having some money to throw away down the line on something major, then it's okay. You can waste your time all you want, but it's like you got to earn that stuff. And then it just gets, you get into the gray areas where there are people who have earned it and are still lost and struggling. It's like, what do you do then? It's like, they already put in the work just like the other guy that's doing okay. But yet, they're not okay. 
and then factor in time on top of that. Like, if you could look at the math equation for depression, what causes it, like, that, I, I want to see that equation on paper. All the factors that come into play. This time is definitely a big one, I know that much. Oh, whoops, I should have put the mask on. Oh, well, we're here. I got all the fairies, right? I zoned out. This temple is just... It's like scratching your head at this point. You just do it. Don't even think about it. Yeah, wait. Oh, man. I should just do the laser beams. We know that's like instant death. Is it like instant death, or is it? I guess it would be like. Like is acceptable in that instance because it's not instant death. It takes a few hits. I've taken a few hits, but I'm okay. Well, the duel was not. Money is nice. I don't know. Deep thoughts. I can't evade them. They're just always surfacing. I think some of my professors wanted me to write a book, but I just don't feel confident in writing a book. That's the thing. Everything that I create, I eventually delete out of pure regret. And I feel like that's the one thing holding me back from writing something and seeking publication in some manner. Can you grab this ledge? No. Well, let's just say I did write a novel and I completed it. And I even went through the publication process. Ah, crud, I thought he could maybe reach that. Who's to say that as soon as it's being sold on shelves, I'm not going to instantly regret it? It's not like a social media post where you can delete it a week later or a month later when you're like, ah, oh, probably shouldn't have done that, and then hide the fact that you already did mess up. That's why I'll never have a Facebook again. Just because I just have that tendency to just do a random status update that I am going to regret. It's another thing, I envy those people that just never got sucked into the stuff. They could say anything that they want, anytime, but they choose to stay quiet, and that's smart. Never say anything unless it's something worth saying. Imagine if we all were able to live by that. What do you got, lady? Money. Alright, well that's one of four that we can roll out as was completely junk. Well, we already know. I didn't need to collect the stray fairies at all. So that's good. Okay, so now let's finish up the Andrew Caffey stuff out of curiosity, and then we're done. Yeah, I like doing stunts off of the bed and the desk and the crate. Alright, dude. Oh, whoops. Green hat, green clothes. What if it wasn't green? What if I changed it? It's technically not. I'm surprised that they never shortened this cutscene out of all the updates. Like, I get it's a big moment in this game. It's what one of the moments of it that it's known for, I guess? I wonder if there's something about the code. It's technically just like an interactive cutscene, isn't it? I don't know. You found a thing. Yeah, but see, the other problem with these Andrew Caffey items is, like, what if you do find one and it overwrites one that you had? Like, what if you found the letter and then you found the pendant before you had a chance to deposit the letter? You screw everything up. That's why I never randomize those things. I like to just leave them alone and play by the rules that I love so much. Don't mess up my notebook, because I really love my notebook. I like those little bombers and all their stickers and stuff. All right, lady. And then we'll listen to the grandma and get to the final day and go see the dude. Because we are at the end. At long last. This was a long one compared to uh, the past couple ones. Maybe that's the result of randomizing more things? I'm not sure. Maybe it's just luck of the draw. Oh, Jordan, yeah. Fast forward, Granny. All right, dude, what is the Keaton mask? 
The magic bean. That's happened before, too. So he had the free one. And there's the priority mail. Who do we want to give it to? Well, either way, we got to meet the dude at Econa Canyon. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So many text boxes, man. Why isn't any of this stuff shortened? I mean, it's good. I guess your first time playing. That's the problem with replaying Zelda games in particular, or any RPG. It just becomes a text box mashing thing. Which begs the question, it's kind of going back to all the crap I keep saying. It's like, I don't know. I just really don't think it's fair to call anybody a filthy casual in terms of gaming. Because they're usually the ones that have pretty well-rounded lives. Not that there's anything wrong with being a huge gamer either, but... What? Come back here, dude. I, I never saw the wolf go back in. Jeez. At least he came back up. Oh, man. I'm solving these puzzles all kinds of wrong. Time for the final hours music again, though. Yeah! Here at the end of all things. Here at last, on the shores of the sea, comes the end of our fellowship. I will not say, do not weep, for not all tears... Yeah, not all tears are an evil. That scene, man, gets me every time. The whole ending of Return of the King. Real men weep. No, I don't know. <laughs> so... Postman or Madame Aroma? Let's go Postman, he's right here. Yeah. Even though I have the cow mask and I should technically put it to use, it's just I don't need anything, so what does it matter? And I like the Postman. Because there's been times I've been just in that same position, freaking out. I remember one time I was walking on a beach somewhere. I think it was... It was either in Maryland or Delaware. I was just wandering a beach super late at night. And... Kind of had a postman moment there. Just kind of collapsed. In defeat. I don't know. It's kind of a weird thing to talk about. I'm gonna stop talking about it. I wasn't crying or anything, I was just frustrated. And, I don't know, asking something, whether it be a god or whatever, for some kind of help. I've been in similar situations. <laughs> Maybe a little bit too much. I don't know. Crazy stuff. Shall we follow him? We got the mask. Why not? Didn't get to do the ranch this time. Did a lot more stuff, though, than I've been doing in most seeds. I'm also going to buy the chateau. Assuming I, did, I think it is the chateau. I didn't check this. Yeah, okay. But somewhere out there, there's the chateau bottle that you get. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I'm stuck in the middle, man. <laughs> it looks so weird. Yeah! I think that's the faster way to do it, right? Also, let's sit on the bar stool that you can hop on. This is the only one that you can hop on for some reason. Mission accomplished. Chug it down, Link. Yeah. Wait, where do you get the Chateau Romani bottle normally? The one that actually counts as a new bottle? It's from her, right? Yeah, she's the one who gives it to you for free. That's right. Bye, right, buddy. Don't do anything stupid now. Okay. What do you have? I'm curious. There's the powder keg! Speaking of the ranch... Well, there you go! Run any slower there? <laughs> and then, of course, Andrew Caffey. There's a chest in there, and whatever the couple's mask is, which we already have.
But this has been a good seed. I've enjoyed this one, and all of my questions have been answered for the most part. The only items I'm curious about at this point are the Great Fairy Sword, because that's like the last one on that subscreen. Oh, that's normal. That's weird. Or is that 200 normally? Can't remember. What's up, Andrew? Figured I'd stay as Kid Link this time instead of Fierce Deity. See, like this one they shortened. This one is even more impactful than any of that other cafe business. Cafe, whatever his name is. Like, this is the biggest moment of Majora's Mask in terms of the Bomber's Notebook stuff. And they shorten this one. Ten bombs, all right. They're not even looking at Link. That's weird. A little bit off-centered. But there we go, that's another seat down. We just gotta go beat Majora. Let's do it. Yeah, so it's just, where's the great fairy sword? A couple masks. But not too many, I have most of the masks, too. Hearts, whatever, they're... Doesn't even matter. Oath to Order was a good find, too, and that random grotto I forgot all about. I'm glad that they shortened all of this sequence, too, so you just get right to the tree. Although it really kind of removes the Skull Kid entirely. You never really see him or interact with him. So yeah, now it's just the question of, is this my last video or what's happening? I don't know what this copper stuff is gonna do. I don't even know how to prepare my channel for it, really. Like, I don't know what's at risk. All I can think is, instead of deleting it, just set it to private. Because I also don't know if I, even just one video I set to as made for kids, I think it removes the community tab on the channel, which I use sometimes. I don't know if that's true or if it's only if you apply your entire channel is made only for kids, or made for kids. But, we shall see. Hopefully, the whole law and stuff changes. It's really on YouTube. They need to develop something like an age gate to prevent kids from just randomly clicking on videos. Because then, what's the problem? If everybody's 13 and older to be on the website at all, It just seems really unfair to a lot of people who worked really hard to get to where they are on YouTube. But then I guess it's stupid to put all your eggs in one basket, because... I don't know. Perhaps the whole concept of YouTube as a money-making platform in the first place is kind of foolish. Ah, jeez. <laughs> this form of Majora's... Absolutely nuts. <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> Alright. I wonder if we'll ever see Majora's Mask again. Probably not. Nintendo seems to be like one and done with a lot of stuff. But like, this fight is way too easy. That's the problem, like even Breath of the Wild, what a huge letdown that was, final boss-wise. There it is! Number six, done. So for Majora's Mask, I covered the vanilla game, tried to beat it in three cycles and failed, then I tried to beat it in three cycles and succeeded, so there's those two vanilla game playthroughs, and now six randomizers of different versions, Starting with the file name one by Death Basket way back in 2013. And then just subsequent ones that have been developed since. 
This is definitely the game that I've covered the most on this channel. Ocarina is a close second, I think. Oh well, yeah, hopefully this one was enjoyable. Hopefully it was a nice balance between real life crap and the actual game. I don't know. That's what I try to do anyway. And I don't know what's going to happen from here. With well, I'm still waiting and seeing about this COPPA law and how it's going to impact gaming channels. Watching the big Let's Players and seeing what they do. Hopefully I can get some news and be able to kind of do some similar actions. And still keep going, but we shall see. Dawn of a new day. But either way, thanks for all the support, and I hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully we can keep on going. This game really does have a lot of parallels to Lord of the Rings. I don't know. Just coming back on a horse, it's like when they first come back to the Shire and they're on horses. <laughs> I don't know. I need to finish. I'm in the middle of re-watching those movies. I gotta go on to the next one. I think Fellowship is my favorite, though. I, as When I first saw them, I thought each one was subs subsequently better than the previous. But now that I'm older, I like all the character building in Fellowship. But there you go! Thanks again, everybody, for watching this and hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for everything else over the years. And hopefully this is not the end. But I'm still really not sure what's going to happen. So until then, take care.